Every day. 
pain I'm burying their arms For a vein or two That maybe they forgot And the cops say it's a crime For people like me And those friends of mine Who want to die Like my neighbor in St. Pete She's been on house arrest down here If she tries to leave her yard They'll lock her in a cage for years Cause sometimes she wants to die And she shoots dope when she thinks she could die And the law they caught her one too many times Shooting dope when she fell like she could die fucking tired y'all i've had a long day i've had a productive day I've had a busy day well i've had a, a actually exciting day too but i can't talk about it um not yet at least uh it's for the follow um oh wait hang on let's see okay i need to figure out what's causing that second play um Okay. Ah, uh, I'm very confused. Ah, uh, did it? 
Oh, it did link you to YouTube. I'm sorry, Caboose. Um, I need to, where do I change that? It's cause it's via webhook. Um, <laughs> I'm like, where, where is my webhook for that hosted? Um, but yeah, let me do that before I forget. Um, where are my webhook settings? There we go. Then, uh, that one. Yes. Uh, okay. There we go. Good, good. Um, cancel. Nope, nope, nope. Um, update it. Updated. Cool. Um, all right. Yeah. I mean, you know, I know you're cool with it, Caboose, but right. Like that's not something I can have happening. I'm also going to change the intro. Dude, we're going to change the night show a little bit. We're going to change the night show a little bit. Um, not tonight, mind you, but, um, in the future, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do a new intro. We're going to do sort of like a proudly radical at night sort of situation. God, I need to gain that weight back. I do not like that gaunt look in my face. Um, <laughs> five pounds gone, gone in like a week and a half, right? Five pounds gone in a week and a half. It'll take me probably a month to two months to get that, those five pounds back. Seriously. Um, no, I wanted to do like a, a proudly radical after dark sort of intro. So I'm not held to the same standard. So we can just sort of have some fun and ch fuck around like we're doing tonight. Like, a, you know, hot or not dictators and revolutionaries addiction and play some video games and not have to get too serious and like, you know, fucking praxis about shit and actually just have a good time with ourselves. Um, so there's going to be a, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do a different intro for the night shows. Um, don't know when I'll actually get that done. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Today I got a bunch of shit done. I was down, um, uh, I was down at the courthouse. I got, um, fucking certified copies of some paperwork I needed. And there's also some other stuff, um, that I'm not going to tell you about yet because I don't want to tempt the universe because the universe is a cruel bitch. And anytime I've actually been excited about something and talk about it ahead of time, it falls through and just becomes shit. So I'm going to hold that, hold on to my exciting news for as long as I possibly can until I know it with certainty. Um, and then I will happily share it with all of you. Um, how are y'all doing? Um, in case anybody gives a shit, uh, I think Vivo was the one who was here first tonight. Vivo was here by a margin. Um, <clears throat> Kai's getting married, says Boom. Uh, you know, Boom, you're not, look, you're wrong. Boom, you're wrong. Um, but you're not as, strangely enough, you're not as far off as you could be. Um, there, there's, you know, in the, in the realm of guesses, you're closer than a lot of people would be, for sure. Caboose, what did we talk about yesterday? Ah, uh. <laughs> Marcus, Kai's adopting a pet gimp. Ah, uh, uh. all right. Um, <laughs> Caboose, Caboose, at least you're in the correct space now. Um, ah. <laughs> uh. Jesus beast. You fucking lay on your keyboard for that one. It's your Friday and you're drinking and also making progress with that five letter U word at work. Um, I remember to feed this one. <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ beast. You're just fucking laying on the keyboard. Um, I, uh, uh, Bluetooth. Uh, I may or may not already have a bowl loaded. Um, I am tired for those of you who are longtime viewers. I am properly tired. And if I get high, shit's going to get weird. So we may just do that. Um, we may just get weird. It's first night back for a night show after fucking yesterday and fucking the whole debacle and shit like that. Um, Amaris is here. Good. Good. I'm so glad you're here, Amaris, because we are going to do the tier list tonight. 
We are we are going to do the tier list. Dude, my fucking contacts are like drying out and shit. It's fucking dude, I've been awake since God knows what. Um uh, gonna get weird. Uh let's get a little wild. Let's get a little weird. Um Yeah. Yeah, um I'm gonna have trouble focusing too. Uh God, it's been a it's been a it's been a good day. It's been a good day. I didn't get any workouts in. I okay, look, I got like 75 fucking like um compound reps on my arms um uh, with dumbbells just to sort of get some blood flowing. Uh but I didn't get any like what I would consider proper workouts in. Um so yeah, I I but despite the lack of workouts today, um Right, just just put all of your like you know. I mean, we know, I know you guys know I don't fucking, but I don't believe in any of that. But if you believe in any of the woo woo voodoo fucking bullshit of this universe, right? Put some goodwill my way and just sort of like help me will some shit into reality. Because if today pans out, it'd be nice. It'd be nice. Um, so, um, <laughs> I can definitely send you some woo-woo energy. Thank you, Aspen. Thank you. Oh, I need to fucking moisturize my hands. Uh, saw the but you already switched to time zone, so I had to get to work early to catch the show. Um, yes, also, uh, the Senate in the U.S., we unanimously passed a bill in the Senate. It's headed to the House. We're going to stop doing daylight savings time, potentially. We tried once in 1970. Um, but we stopped doing it because kids were going to school in the dark and people were all freaked out about kids safety and shit like that, but we don't care anymore about kids safety. So that's not really an issue America gives a shit about anymore. So yeah, we've got a, we got a bill that passed the Senate unanimously, unanimously, uh, and it's headed to the house, uh, about, uh, to just stop doing daylight savings time. Yeah. So, Hey now. Ah, uh, square. Literally moisturizing my hands watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they did something unanimously for once. It's the first time in it's the first time in a long time, actually. Uh Ciao, say Joe. Um <laughs> Thanks for thanks for this. It's a big day for us. It's a big day. <laughs> Dude, Amherst, broken clock, right? Um <laughs> okay so are we are we are we like all in favor kai just get weird and take a puff and see where this ends up because like i said i'm tired i'm already a little goofy let's get weird i'm good with that check uh, check memes what am I ch okay give me a sec i get weird and see what happens <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> Indeed, Viva's a yay. I don't, Marcus, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Just pick one. Just pick one. I'm fine with it. <laughs> based, but based Putin. Oh, God. Economy fucked, world fucked, said it finally did something right with daylight savings time. I know, right? Uh, I fucking, dude, I don't care. I don't care. Just pick one. That's all. That's all. I, 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 I'm out of the conversation. Just stop doing this time switch shit. It's stupid. Um, all right. <sighs> um, in no way, shit. I, it's, this is all tobacco, of course. This is all tobacco. What's up, Motor City LaBelle? Um, I am very tired. Uh, which tends to make streams really weird. It's the late night stream. It's not the typical daytime stream. Um, so this is sort of like Kai after dark, proudly radical after dark. And I'm about to take a um, hit of some very strong tobacco product, which is perfectly legal at the federal state and uh, federal state and local level, of course. Um, and in no way, shape or form am I violating any rules or conditions. Um, so give me one moment. And then we're going to start doing... Um, Hot or not dictators and revolutionaries tier list as arranged by Amaris for us. Thank you, Amaris. <clears throat> 100% legal. <coughs> All 
Uh, I'm not as thinky why I I am. Oh, all right. It, dude, caboose. That was that was the greatest thing about living in Arizona. I did that taught me a. I was like, wait, you don't do this? Like this is just like a thing you don't have to do. It was great. Oh, it was uh, tobacco. Hundred percent tobacco. Um. How many fingers are you holding up? Um, four. Uh, <laughs> um, square. Oh, daylight. Uh, uh, Arizona doesn't recognize daylight savings time. Arizona doesn't do it. it. It hasn't done it. Like, if you live in Arizona, you don't recognize daylight savings time. It just doesn't happen in Arizona. Um... <laughs> what are you? What an extra hour of sunlight? Are you fucking crazy, Arizonans? Yeah, how's that? Um, so, <laughs> um, they're all they're all men. So you know, tech, they're all men. Um, uh, Alice, why is everybody talking about daylight savings? Because daylight savings just occurred. We just had to do it, and the United States Senate unanimously passed a bill to stop doing daylight savings time bullshit, and it's headed to the House right now. That's why. Howdy, Puka. Um, that <laughs> get your good on you, Aspen. Um, all right. So Amaris made this absolutely beautiful tier list for us a few weeks ago now um, because of the incident. Uh, for those of you that are new or aren't, aren't regular as well, we won't go into the incident. You feel free to watch yesterday's VOD. Um, what's up, Brain? Uh, feel free to watch yesterday's VOD um, uh, to catch up on that if you so choose. Um, does it really have a chance to pass? No, Cricks, it, it looks like it's going to pass. Um, dude, it looks like it's going to pass. Dude, it passed the Senate unanimously. It's going to pass the House, probably. Yeah. Um, I got, like, I uh, just got, like, eight or so mins into the content of last night's vlog, and saw you alive, so I'll get to it after. Nice, Libra. Um, yeah, like, there's a very real chance, Cricks, that in our lifetime, we're going to have, we're going to finally get rid of that stupid daylight savings time crap that we do. God, that stuff sucks. Um... Yes, uh, not only have they tried multiple times before GL, they've actually done it before. In 1970, we actually did stop recognizing day daylight savings time, but we reverted it um, because of safety concerns for the youth of America going to school in the dark. I'm not kidding you. That was that was one of the major reasons that they, they reversed it. But now we don't give a shit about kids anymore. Now it's all about our inconvenience. And, you know, millennials and Zoomers aren't going to have kids, like, en masse anyway. So we're all like, can we just kill this shit? Everybody's on board now. So, yeah. Um. Yeah, it, it, yeah, you're right. It was, a, it was a hand count, right, Marcus? It was like a, a, just a quick fucking, they didn't even have to do the formal vote. It was so unanimous. Um, back when Dare was big. Uh, all right. So, um, tier list. We've got it here. Uh, let me get it a little bit bigger for some of y'all. There you go. Um, ah, yes. That even puts the, the chat right in the corner. Perfect. Amorous. Somehow this all works out. Um, <laughs> caboose. I know, right? But it's going to be that way. We're going to, we're all going to be a little twitchy. Uh, a little twitchy for a while. Dude, Caboose, I'm not kidding you. When you said that, I looked down at my status bar on OBS and the uh, the 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 green. Um, so in OBS, you have a green, yellow, and red indicator. I've only seen it go red twice in all of streaming. One time when level three was having outages and then the night of, right? So now we're doing simultaneous recording and streaming. I glance down as you say that and I see the red of the recording light and I almost had a little mini heart attack myself as well. I was right there with you, Caboose. And then I glanced over and saw the green of the actual indicator. And I was like, oh, fuck it, eh? And that's, we're all caught up. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, all right, so. Uh. Uh, 
uh, because he was an emperor. Uh, okay, so Alice, hi, my name's Kai. Was it? Sorry, sorry, we will get to it. Alice, hi, my name's Kai. Uh, generally speaking, the uh, longtime members and myself of this community are various flavors of anarchist. Um, we're, I am a dyed in the wool anarchist and have been for many, many years. An emperor is just a dictator in other names for us. It's an authoritarian, and that's they're in the pile. So, you know. Um, so, yeah. Dictators and revolutionaries. Dictators and revolutionaries. Um, and um, Amaris made this list. I did not create it. Um, so if you have questions, you're going to have to direct them at Amaris. And I would probably, you know, advise you to not direct too many questions at Amaris because it's just, why didn't you put this? Or why didn't you? Come on. They're either there or they're not. Uh, Amaris was uh, ever so kind uh, enough to uh, put time in creating this beautiful list. I'm going to use the standard completely ableist objectionist uh, objection scale uh, of ones and tens that we're all familiar with um, that Western society has been uh, reducing and reducting and paternalizing um, various members of our society with since ever so long ago, I'm sure. Um, also, uh, let's see, we're, go I'm going to know most of these, but I, there's, I'm sure there's going to be a few that are going to slip me up. Um, the Steven Seagal looking motherfucker is making me work. Um, okay. So let's start at the top, um, and just get the hotties out of the way as far as I'm concerned. Um, fuck, this is, this is not that difficult of a choice for me, frankly, um, fucking Chuchescu here, uh, is just fucking hot as shit. Oh, also, other rule, um, I'm going to be judging them solely based on the picture that is presented, not another time. Not, uh, not, not a future version of themselves. Whatever Amorous has put in as the picture is what I will go by. Because some of these motherfuckers get ugly. <laughs> Alright? Um... And some of these motherfuckers start ugly. Lennon, I'm looking at you. This is, let's just, they, <laughs> thanks for the follow there. Um, yeah, Chuchescu, solid 10. Lennon, solid one. I mean, this is just like, are you kidding me? Fucking look at these two. This is, this is the two ends of the spectrum. Yeah, that's Lennon. Aspen, that's what Lennon fucking looked like. He was hideous. He was fucking hideous, inside and out. The man was just a terrible human being. Um, <laughs> um, here's one that's gonna bother a lot. This is gonna be visceral for a bunch of you, all right? That's Donald Trump. He was a good looking dude. He's a good looking dude. Back in the day, he had some swag. And you know what? He's not that good looking, but he's decent looking. Right? Like, this is, I told you, I warned you that was going to kill a bunch of you. I, 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 some of these will shift around, but let me get them into positions. Chuchescu's not coming down off a 10. He's, I'm sorry, he's a solid 10. This motherfucker may be a, si a, a 7 or something like that, but he's good, he's decent looking. This motherfucker's a solid one. He ain't going anywhere. Um, fucking, all right, so, <laughs> it's just... Glennon was dog shit ugly. What are you gonna do? That dude was not a looker. Um, <laughs> you can. I mean, Square. Not really. Like the, the whole the whole g g g fucking joke of this is that like I was literally we were talking about dictators and revolutionaries one night and we were going through a whole bunch of them. And I started pulling up photos and I started like like this motherfucker is ugly. Right? Like uh, this no, oh, he's hot and we're like people started throwing him at me. So this is how this came to be. So I'm I, we're not going to do the whole uh fucking consensus decision making tonight. We're just going to do what does Kai fucking think and riff off of that since uh we're doing this. Um Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Who who stands? You know what? He's the man of the hour. 
Putin was always weird looking. He's not fucking, I mean, let's let's admit it, right? Like, we'll put them side by side and we'll feel good about it, right? Here, we'll get a little justification going. Like, yeah, clearly Putin's better looking than that. But he's still a weird looking motherfucker, for sure. Um... He looks blue-blooded. You're right. He looks fucking blue-blooded. Uh, no, 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 no. Libra. 100% of McPoyle. 100% of McPoyle. Dude, we pull, We compared that. Like, he 100% looks like a fucking McPoyle. Um, straight up. I, I agree. Um, <laughs> yeah, 100%. Oh, let's see. All right. Um... Who's popping? Who's popping? Who's popping? All right, you know what? Let's just get it out of the way. I don't think Che is good looking. I've never thought Che is good looking. I, I he's below average for me. Um, fuck it. <laughs> um, the third last guy has a Brendan shout. <laughs> no, no, I don't think Che is good looking. I've never thought Che is good looking. Uh, what's up, Wayne? We're doing a completely, uh, if you want, you know, feel free to pull up a chair, have a few drinks. If you, you know, if you like a, a bit of tobacco, enjoy it. Um, so it's, it's, you know, it's the night show. We're rating dictators and revolutionaries. I am at least. We're all rating them. Feel free to speak up, but the tier list is going to be my opinion on this one. Um, fucking, you know what? Uh, all right, let's see. Um... Oh, you know what? He was a handsome dude. Milosevic isn't that bad. I, he had swag. There's something about Milosevic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Che's definitely worse looking than Trump for me. Um, We'll shift him down. Um, Milosevic has uh, got, uh, got a fucking... How is Che next to Putin? Well, he may he may migrate up, but I gotta tell you, he's never done it for me. He's never done it for me. Um, yeah, he straight up, uh, it's never worked for me. It's it is what it is, right? Um, we all got our types. We all got our types. <laughs> Viva's okay, unfollowed. <laughs> Yeah, I told you this is gonna kill some of you. This is just gonna kill some of you. All right So, you know what? He was a good-looking dude. All right. Does anybody know who I'm who I'm pulling right now? Um Ah, uh, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. Does anybody know who this is? Some fucking <laughs> It's it's Kim Jong-un. It's Kim Jong-un. It's Un. Yeah, Fax got it. Um, and Marcus may or may not have got it. He got Kim. Yeah, it's Kim Jong-un. <laughs> Alice, that dude's higher than Che. <laughs> Again, he doesn't do it for me and never has. These two might be equal. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to put Che and Donald Trump equal for me. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, that kind of feels equal. We're going to put Che and Donald Trump on the same line. Um, fucking, yeah, Un looked a lot better as a youngster, 100%. He was a good-looking dude back in the day. Um, I mean, you know, I don't, look, I got a type in the long-time viewers and regular viewers uh, who've seen all the D-Gen uh, storytime segments know my type. Um, but there's not a whole lot of, uh, uh, fucking, uh, <laughs> that type on this list, to be perfectly honest. So, you know, I'm a, I'm an equal opportunity fucker. I, 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 you know, everybody gets a turn at the ride. Um, all right, so it's the haircut. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It's, it's, it's a pretty modern haircut. Um, although he did go to school in like what Switzerland or some shit. Uh, guy's type is the horse that killed Mr. Hands. Nice, Marcus. Woo! Yeah, when he was still a student in Europe, Viva. Yeah, back in the day. Uh, all right, let's see. Oh, I don't know. You know what? Oh, this is good. Okay. Oh, um, fucking yeah, for sure. Um, okay. Young Stalin is a looker and it, it fucking has some swag. All right. Young Stalin is a good looking dude. So yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Milosevic, I don't know. You know what? Yeah. All right. 
Milosevic and Un can sort of go kick around six. Young Stalin can go to an eight. Ceausescu can go to ten. Um, you thought he was Arab? Yeah, that's Young Stalin right there. Fucking, he was a looker. Um, equal opportunity fucker. Nicely. <laughs> Oh, uh, love it, love it, love it. Uh, Stalin gets a five for being mad hair. <laughs> it's, I get it, I get it, I get it. Um, as long as he was topping me, I wouldn't have an issue with uh, with it. But if I was gonna bottom that dude, which I would, I would. Uh, uh, if I, I was gonna, if if he was topping me, I'd be fine with the hairy. But if I was gonna top him, which I would, um. I'd fuck this, fuck some sense into that dumb motherfucker. Um, we'd have to, we'd have to wax him. We'd, you know, fucking imagine waxing Stalin. That'd be hilarious. Um, <laughs> all right, who's, who's up next? <laughs> I told you it was gonna get weird. I told you it was gonna get fucking weird. Um, uh, uh, top gets to shave the bottom. <laughs> oh, oh, me, if I want. Uh, <laughs> that's Saddam. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Saddam's on here too. Um, it is Saddam. Um, <laughs> waxing poetic up in this bitch. Um, yeah. Okay. I, you know, I don't know how I feel about Saddam. Um, No, I'm, I'm, I, I will never not t t fucking Che and Trump get to go on the same line, period. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly, guys. Uh, Harry and short. No wonder has loved Stalin so much. Uh, also, there's a joke about a 14 year old in there somewhere. Why is Steven Seagal on the list? I know, right? He so fucking looks it. Batur uh, what's it, what's it, Batursier? Is it Batursier or Bat Bat It's Desi is his first fucking name. It's the motherfucker that went down for like 20 years, right? But yeah, Batursier or some shit like that. Um, yeah, that's, that's the Steven Seagal looking motherfucker right there. Um, Saddam's got Weed Singer and Queen vibes. You know what? He does have some Freddie Mercury vibes. You know what? Just for that, he gets to move up to his six. <laughs> we'll sort some of these out later. Um, Gaddafi? You know what? Gaddafi's popping here. Uh, well, I love, I love Gaddafi's fashion sense, but he's not a good looking man. But you know what? He doesn't have that stupid look that the big poyo looking motherfucker. I just, I can't, I can't stop imagining Putin asking for some milk. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, Tito's up on this bitch. Here, uh, he's right there. This is Tito. Um, yeah, Gaddafi was a rapist. Um, fucking, yeah, I don't, mm, yeah, no. I love his fashion style, especially later in life. Fucking late life, Gaddafi, I love what he was doing. The weird military and the epaulets and the fucking frame of his family pinned onto his church, uh, his chest and shit, and the fucking purple moo moo and shit. Dude, absolutely love it if you're gonna be a crazy fucking dictator be a crazy fucking dictator he had he had the panache he had the panache of a proper dictator i most of these motherfuckers are boring dictators few of them got up to some interesting things and they brought their own spin but a lot of these motherfuckers were boring dictators and gaddafi brought flash it was always hilarious oh and also go watch his um uh his statement to the un best best fucking speech to watch ever dude he goes so far over his time he goes so far over his time and he just refuses to yield the floor and it's just spouting crazy and he's just going off and it just goes on forever it's Gaddafi's speech to the un you want to watch that shit <coughs> uh yes thank you critical thank you <clears throat> 100%, 100%, my man. Ah, uh, yes! <laughs> yeah, when Gaddafi wanted France and Jerry to invade Switzerland, he was, Gaddafi was a crazy motherfucker. He was caboose. What's up, Caleb? Ah, oh, Caleb, Caleb. We're, uh, we're getting weird. We're just getting weird up in this bitch. Uh, we're rating, we're rating, uh, dictators and revolutionaries. Um, North, I can't believe Twitch AI recommend this channel to me. Glad to be here. Glad to have you, North. Uh, uh, someday, look, most days we do like headlines and politics and fucking theory and shit like that. But the late shows are going to be this kind of vibe um, moving forward. So glad to have you as well, my man. Uh, 
Fa- Goldman Sachs fucked Gaddafi. Almost had a murder for the ninety percent management fees of the Libyan sovereign wealth fund. Yeah, that. I mean, look, Gaddafi was a horrible, horrible man, but he got some shit done. Ain't gonna like you can't like if you're gonna tell the whole story, you got to tell the whole story. Um, and the whole story includes some very impressive improvements to Libya under his regime. So. I'm just saying, like, this is an anarchist saying this shit, right? Like, you know, like, dude got shit done. You can't deny that. I don't agree with how he did any of it, but, you know, recognize. Uh, all right, so um, let's do. All right, let's let's pop some of these motherfuckers. Let's see, Pol Pot. Pol Pot is he's in an older photo of Pol Pot, and I don't go in for the older dudes. He's he's got fucking Gaddafi vibes. Um, let's get Tito going. Tito's got some crazy like um, I don't know, mad scientist vibes, and I'm not sure if he's a four or a five, but you know what? I kind of feel him up here. I do him. I do him. Um, he's got, he's got fucking crazy fucking eyes. I, I it's fucking, yeah, Tito, yeah, <laughs> that dude's intense. That was, dude is intense. Um, seems like he has a medical kink. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. What's up, Skillaroo? Uh, what's the number where I draw the line for fucking him? I'd fuck him on purpose if, uh, like, it, it, the, like, uh, time travelers thing. I'd fuck a lot of these motherfuckers just to get them back on track. Um, but outside the time travelers thing, um, hmm. you know what? Probably above four, it, between four and five. I'm not, I mean, Che just doesn't do it for me, but, you know, he's not bad enough that I'd turn him down. Um... This crazy motherfucker right here, Tito. Tito, I know would be I'd be in for a good ride. That motherfucker is gonna get out some like whips and shit. He's gonna he's gonna spank me. He's proper. He's fucking dude. There's gonna be gloves and shit involved. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good night. It's gonna be a good night. Um, if I get to survive it. Um, fucking you know what? Trump's a looker. You're gonna have to do all the work, and his dick is small. But I mean, you know, when he was younger, maybe you could get a decent performance out of him. Um, I'd probably be disappointed afterwards, of course, but I mean, the fact of the matter is, is that I'd go into it, you know, I'd fucking, I, I don't know if I'd pull the rip, I'd probably pull the rip cord partway through. It's dude, I'd, I'm so, homie, don't play that. Homie, don't play that. Sorry. Uh, no, the Shaw, I don't believe the Shaw is on the list. Hang on. Let's, let's fucking get this. Um... No, no, the Shaw isn't on the list. Uh, <laughs> Trump would drop a deuce midway. <laughs> he would. He would. I agree. Yeah. Um, how was that? All right. Um, is this, is, is this Ebert? Um, this is Ebert, isn't it? Oh, shit. Um, pfft. Fucking. Uh, the president of the Weimar Republic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is the president of the Weimar Republic. Um. Oh, that one came in deep. It all comes down to insults with authoritarians, and I know, right? Ah, dude, he's he's. I don't know. He's got something to him. I don't know if he's McPoyle here or up here. I I'm a I'm gonna leave him a tent. You know what? He's kind of. I'm gonna move those guys down to three and fucking keep him on the same line. Uh, he lacks the mustache for a serious German strongman. I know I agree, right? Definitely above Putin. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 Apple, <laughs> Tennessee, Appalachia. This motherfucker up in here. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> I don't know. I don't know who this motherfucker is. 
I don't know who this motherfucker is, but he's got some like African vibe to it or something. Um, mm, mm, I'm taking the picture at the age and the the way they look. Then I, I, he's a two. Yemen, maybe? Do we? Do we? Does, does anybody know who the fuck that dude is? I don't. No, no, that's a sod. This this is a sod right here. Ya 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 Khan. Who the fuck is that? Dude, that name does not pop for me. Pakistan. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Pakistan. Um Yeah, this this is a sod. I, I know what he looks like as a fucking kid. Um, so, like, I mean, that photo's a bit young, Amorous. <laughs> How old is he in that photo? <laughs> I feel I feel slightly odd here, Amorous. This, this photo looks like a fucking high school photo or some shit. This, this looks like a yearbook photo. He looks like, yes, 100% square. He looks like he's about to go rowing in Massachusetts. Yeah, 100%. He's got like John Kerry vibes and shit like that. 14, but already genocided in a village in North Syria. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Oh, yeah, like that dude. I feel a little weird fucking using this photo, Amherst. The youngest one is Kim Jong-un. He's not legal in that photo. Kim's out. Okay, so they're, they're high school. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that fucking feels weird too then. That's like a high school photo of fucking Kim Jong-un. Ooh, I don't feel good about that. Um, fuck it. Fuck, I, I, I want to take him down to a one on principle. Fucking like... All right, they have to go on one. <laughs> got to. That shit's got to fucking just nope. Got to nope out of that one real hard. Um, fucking. <laughs> uh, fucking. Uh, you know, if I hey, if I were of, if I were if I went to school with a sod or a Kim Jong Un, if they're like you know, s fucking probably Swiss private schools, and I were a fellow sc schoolmate of theirs of an appropriate age group, I a hundred percent would do them. Um, but Kai, as an adult, I do not find these individuals attractive because they are underage. Um, fucking. You don't know my boyfriend who goes to a different school. Uh, I can't believe you think Putin is hotter than Kim. I, I I don't, but you know what? Where was my cutoff? My cutoff was here. Here. They are attractive, but not in that way. Everything, I already said, everything above a four, I'd fucking give a turn in the sack. So I recognize that there is some level of attra attractiveness there. Um, they are good-looking individuals, but they hold no sexual uh, 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 allure for me. There, we'll go with that. Is that we we all get on board, board with that one? Um, fucking all right. Let's. Uh, okay, Idi Amin is just a fucking dummy-looking motherfucker. I'm sorry, fucking. I, you know, no, he's a two. He's a two. Um. <laughs> Thank you, Aspen. Um, Marcus, am I covered? Um, <laughs> we consult counsel. Um, all right, let's do Hirohito's little fucking dummy looking ass. All his fucking military regalia crap. Jesus goddamn Christ. See, on if if Gaddafi wore this shit, I'd be laughing my ass off. On Hirohito, it just seems, I don't know, pretentious. Um... God, threes become quickly becoming a dump stat. Um. All right. Unfortunately, I'm not licensed to practice in horny jail. <laughs> oh, I respect it, Marcus. Um. Oh, Cappy doesn't work over here, Caleb. Here. Um. There you go. There's Cappy. Um, all right, 
Who's the dude in the turban? He's a 10 for sure. That's Khamenei. Yeah, that's that's Ayatollah. Um, fucking, I don't think he's a 10, but you know what? He's, dude, he's got that, okay, you know what? I see him as like an equal to Stalin. I could see that. Yeah, you know what? That feels good. That feels good. Those two feel, to me, yeah. They feel equal. Um, all right, let's get Salazar's fucking trench coat looking wearing ass, uh, wearing ass motherfucker, uh, out of here. This is fucking Salazar. I know that creepy looking dude, that dude's got school shooter written all over him. Um, fucking. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> School shooter written all over and puts him in a fuckable category. <laughs> Libra. Just because just because you clearly are gonna shoot up your high school doesn't mean you're not you know, <laughs> you're not an attractive individual. <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got an Adrian Brody kind of feel to him. I, 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 I'm feeling it. Yeah, sure, he's you know got school shooter written all over him, but um, hashtag everyone deserves love. Exactly, Aspen. Exactly, Aspen gets it. Um, I'm gonna leave him at six. He may change. He may change. He may change. <laughs> that, that motherfucker may change. Uh, let's just put it that way. I, I'm feeling he might move up a rank. Uh, let's go. Let's uh, Bashir's fucking what? What is it with the air? Uh, um, all right. Let's see. All right. He's he's ah. Uh, you know what? Yeah. He's got he's got three written all over him. Maybe nah. You know what? No. It's just, it's just the whole vibe. It's not working for me. Um, you know, but he's not like whatever's going on down here. Um, thoughts on Castro in two sentences. I mean, oh, <sighs> uh, douchebag. I wouldn't want running anything, but is a straight stone cold pimp. There you go. I'll give it to you in one. Um. Alright, let's fucking let's get Mao's dumbass out of here. I know what he looks like. Um. Alright, he's better looking than that. He's better looking than that. Uh, he doesn't belong in the I don't think he belongs in the high school ca category. Is it, I don't you know, he doesn't he doesn't feel like a high schooler in this photo. Um fucking Okay. Okay. There we go. Uh, that's that's that's. I, I just sort of. I, I had to feel it out a bit. I'm, I'm I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Um, <laughs> Saddam would argue he needs to be ten. I, you know, fucking. I, I respect it. I'd hear him out. I'd hear him out. I think Mao is better. I, you know. All right. Look, I got some. I got some needs. I got some. I got some needs, and I. I just. I feel. Like maybe Salazar could fulfill those needs, um, you know. For the the the, the viewers know, y'all know. If you're you're a regular, I, I I have some I have some desires. I have some wants and needs in my my sexual life, and I think Salazar probably is rocking those needs. So I'm just saying, he belongs there for me. Uh, um, um, fucking not those needs, be cold. The kink needs. Um, yeah, 
uh, the kink needs. I think Salazar would be there with the fucking chains and the ball gag and the fucking butt plugs and the fucking... Salazar would be down. Salazar would be down. He's got that vibe. Yeah, he would... Oh, he'd probably rock those needs. Exactly, baby. Yeah, Salazar could handle it. Um, one for topping, one for bottoming. No, you know what? You know what? I can, you know, we'll fucking... No, we're good. We're good. I can, I can keep it on the fly. Um, all right. Hang on. All right, let's do this. Um... Is this Mubarak? This is Mubarak, isn't it? Huh. That took me a minute. Um. Oh, yeah. I mean, Lenin is goddamn dog shit ugly. That dude was fucking terrible looking. Um, inside and out. Yeah, that feels right. Yeah, this is a hundred percent objectifying these individuals. Hundred percent ableist objectification going on here, Zero. This, you don't get to factor anything other than, does this motherfucker make your dick hard? That's what this is about. I so we're on the same page. Um, or your girl dick, whatever y'all be rocking. Just speaking for me. Just speaking for me. Um Oh, God, that's Chavez. This big-eared looking motherfucker. That's Chavez. See, I'm having to fucking work off of certain cues. I know certain cues for some of these fucking people. And it's a it, it, big-eared motherfucker. Um, all right. God, no. Yeah, no, you're, dude, three is winning it. All right. Um. Oh my God, that's Mussolini. That's Mussolini. Uh, Alice, I'm as gay as they come. That's fucking Mussolini, isn't it? That's fucking Mussolini. Ah, <sighs> God damn it, he's good. He's decent looking. He's not smiling. Yeah, yeah, like if he were smiling, he'd be better looking. He's, he's a good looking dude. He's a good looking dude. Mussolini's not bad looking. I'd do him. When he had hair. Yeah, exactly. As, as, as soon as he le loses hair. You'd be better looking if you smiled more. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. <laughs> That's during the syndicalist days. Yeah, you can tell by the fucking neck wrap. Um, fuck it, yeah. <laughs> fuck it, Libra got to it first. Um, all right, all right. Um, I think I know who this is. I think this is Robert Mugabe. I think this is Mugabe.
dude, I like black dudes and he's not doing it for me. Something about, I don't know. He's not working for me. Dude, Mugabe's just not doing it for me. It's also, he was the cannibal, right? Um, this is, Mugabe was the one who was accused of cannibalism, right? Um, yeah, exactly. Is the balls, but no swag. Zero. No, 100%. That's spot on. <laughs> it looks like it was born old. What's up, Smite? Yeah, we're doing hot or not. Dictators and Revolutionaries Edition. Pull up a chair. Get drunk. Get high. Do what you got to do. But we're having fun tonight. It's a night show. Um, no, it was Idi Amin that was the cannibal. That's right, Marcus. Thank you. Thank you. I, fucking, what was Mugabe's deal? Um... Fucking. All right. Let's keep going here. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, I already know this, this, this motherfucker, because the, the Steven Seagal looking motherfucker, that's that Batusia, whatever. It's fucking Desi. His name was Desi. That I know. Guy got sentenced 20 years, I think, to like, you know, house, like fucking confinement in his house or some bullshit. Um, straight up fucking Steven Seagal looking motherfucker that this guy is. Um, see, I need, okay, so here's the deal. I'm sorry. They have to, they have to go in one. I need a three and a four and the high schoolers need to get lost. I'm kicking the high schoolers out. That's, that's just, just what this boils down to. The high schoolers are gone. The high schoolers are gone. Um, fucking... Yeah. Will Alexander! What is up, my man? Will Alexander, why is Tom from MySpace on the list? Dig. It, Tom from MySpace. <coughs> that's uh that's a sod. Um let's see. Oh Jesus, you got two of them. Alright, let's see. I'm a hello, I am a Brazilian intuitive handmade custom puppet maker. I am interested in collaboration. My puppets can be of anyone, you, Eminem, Frank Sinatra, etc. Do you think your audience would have any interest in these goddamn puppets? Hello, I am a gorgeous man from Jamar. I sell handmade custom glass statues. They can be of anyone, you, Eminem, Frank Sinatra, etc. Especially Frank Sinatra. Get a goddamn glass Frank Sinatra, just get one. Hello, I'm a magnificent lord from Bolivia. I offer handmade 3d printed nonsense I, it can resemble anyone you eminem frank sinatra etc just get yourself a 3d printed eminem from bolivia it'll be a good investment hello i'm a striking young man from spain i offer finger painted wooden statues they can be of anyone you eminem frank sinatra etc just get a wooden version of yourself you can throw it into a fire scream and act all voodoo it'll be worth the five thousand dollars <laughs> <laughs> oh, Will Alexander, I always love what you write. You know I do. Um. <laughs> oh, and thank you again for the biddies. Uh, should we have a victims of imperialism tier list? Oh, I mean, that'd be interesting. <laughs> Dig, yeah, probably, right? Um, okay. Um... I don't. Hmm. I don't know. Oh God! I feel like I know you. I don't know you. I. Hmm. I don't know. I. I feel like I know you. I. I. I hmm. Don't think I know you. Um, I'm not, I'm not a percent, hundred percent on him. Um, and oh God. Okay. So I feel like I know these two, but you know, I'm not brilliant at with, I'm, I'm not getting the cues. That's Franco. That's motherfucking Franco. He's sort of garb. Uh, anyway. Fucking.
Um. <sighs> oh God. This is Nasser. Okay. You know what? He's doable. I can work off of that one. So that's Nasser. Uh, you know what? It's better looking than you. Yeah. It's better looking than. Uh, What's up, Mythic? Um, anyway. Uh, we're doing uh, Hot or Not, Dictators and Revolutionaries Edition. Pull up a chair, get drunk, get high, do what you got to do. Um, again, Dictators and Revolutionaries Edition. Um, oh, God, that, that means these two I should know. Motherfucker, I know you. I know you. Who am I forgetting? Dictators. <laughs> There's a helicopter joke in there. There's a helicopter joke in there. All right. Fucking Pinochet. Um. No, you still belong there. Yeah, that all feels right. All right. Um. Yep, I don't know these last three. I'm just going to rank them. I don't know these last three. I'm just going to rank them. Um, just how it's going to uh, gonna go down here. All right, you're a good looking dude. Um... Oh, he's got swag. He's got good cheekbones, solid chin, good lips. I, you know what? He's got swag. You, oh, you feel. Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right. You, my friend, you, my friend, are the last one remaining. All right. You don't like Chichescu? Zero. Dude, Chutescu does get for me. Sorry. Um... All right, this is the final tier list. Hold on, let's uh, let's go over here really quickly. Let me uh, pull a few things, move a few things, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and so forth. Um, and then we will pull this over. Cool. All right, let's go back to it now. All right, here is the final tier list. Fucking. Dictators and Revolutionaries Edition, as rated by me, an anarchist. Um, we have our final list. All right. Feel free to disagree. I if 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 everybody agreed with me, my ratings of these people, I would be concerned for humanity. Um. So yeah, that that's dude that that's that would be no good for our, our for our species if everybody 
Mm. Yeah, Caboose, I did. So, fucking, let's just go down the list, shall we? Um, fucking, Chuchescu rocks it for me. <coughs> fucking, he just does. Oh, you know what? I'm going to pop the fucking file. Hold on. Give me a second here. All right. I have it here. There we go. Um, because Amaris provided me ever so kindly with a zip file of all of their thumbnails with their names. Um, so I could then go through it. So let me try and play match the dictator game here. Just to make sure. Okay. So I know this is, uh, this is, uh, uh, oh, fucking, there we go. Let's do that. Um, I know this is Chuchescu, but uh, let's fuck uh, Nikolai, uh, Nikolai Chuchescu. Yes. Okay. 100%. Um, all right. Who is our dapper looking young? Chun Du Huan. Chun Du Huan. Um, South Korean politician, dictator, and army general. Interesting. Yeah. Did not even know that one. Um. <laughs> uh, you can f uh, fuck while he's still in his prime, but make sure you don't get hitched. All right, what you got? Ah, God, no. Um, all right. So anyway, um, fucking, we got Musil uh, uh, fucking, um, not, not Mussolini. We got Stalin here. Um, so we got South Korea and, uh, we got fucking Stalin going on here. Um, hey, you, <laughs> you Eminem, Frank Sinatra, etc. Just follow the channel. Thank you kindly for the follow. Whichever one of you mother crazy motherfuckers just spun that account up. Um, <laughs> absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, whoever did it got a good on you. Um, all right. So, uh, all right. Let me just make sure here. I'm trying, like trying to fucking find them and compare them and make sure um uh can i hold on there we go yeah that's better that's better i like that formatting better and can i oh i can i can blow those up even further cool good deal um all right so Nasser, and then we got fucking oh you know what this ain't working for me <laughs> sorry fiddly behind the scenes uh i need i need a fourth monitor i need a fourth monitor that's that's what it boils down to at the end of the day i need a fourth monitor <laughs> first world needs um okay so we got uh nasser we got kamani um we got this dapper gentleman here park chung hee Park Chung He. What I'm learning is that I need to. Uh, he was the South Korean dictator as well. Okay, interesting. Uh, yeah, I need to study up on my South, uh, like my e like East Asian dictators. Apparently, um, that's what I'm fucking learning here. Uh, we got Tito's fucking uh, crazy ass. I know that's. I'm sorry, not Tito. Uh, fucking um, Salazar, not Tito. Fucking Salazar. Um. Salazar's fucking school shooter looking ass. Um, <laughs> 100% looks like a school shooter. I'm just saying. Um, uh, then, let's see. We got Mao, right? Mao. Yes, that's Mao. Um, and then we got Stalin. Yep, that's Stalin. Okay, so got... Um, Fuck it. <laughs> so we got Salazar, Mao, and fucking uh, uh, Stalin all lined up on sevens. And keep in mind, I would do all these motherfuckers. Uh, some of these people, I would really fuck their brains out and just do a number on their head. Just to, you know, maybe make sure that millions of people don't die. Mao, looking at you. Um, fucking... <laughs> also, you know, Stalin, Mussolini. You know, fucking... <laughs> These guys got body counts. Dude, these motherfuckers got body counts. Um, this is a list with some serious bodies on it, for sure. Uh, <laughs> there's no way around that. Uh, we got Saddam Hussein here. 
hey, you know, you, you still got a little baby fat. What are you gonna do? Um, fucking. Um, what, what, what do you, you know, what, what, what do you, uh, he just, you know, he needs to uh, cut, get cut a little bit more, my brand. Um, he never really did, though, did he? Um, so, Jesus Christ, this is the stupidest fucking thing. Oh, God, we got Mubarak there on the right, um, and then, oh, God, which one of you idiots was that? That was, um... Milosevic, that's Milosevic. There is a fucking kid. Um, then we got uh, what the the ever so controversial, the the ever so controversial row, uh, 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 fucking row five. Um, Donald Trump, Che Guevara, and Tito's crazy looking fucking medical fetish have an ass. These all are on five for me. Yes, Che Guevara and Donald Trump are equally attractive to me as aesthetically sorry kids i hate to i you know i know many of you are just disappointed with me i understand i understand um <laughs> jay can go fuck himself uh, <laughs> oh so I'd have a threesome with Che and Trump. Okay, Che could probably bring the heat that Trump is lacking. So, you know, you could have a good time with it, for sure. You could have a good time with it, at least. Yeah, because fucking Trump's going to be a disappointment in the bedroom. But around somebody like fucking Che, he's going to try and live up to the expectation, right? He's going to perform. Like, he's going to be, like, you know, macho man. Like, oh, I, I, I can keep up. I can keep up, right? And Che's going to fucking lay some pipe. So... Fucking, yeah, Che, 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 che could elevate Trump's game in the bedroom for sure. So, yeah, you know, why not? Threesome with them. It would work. Um, fucking. <laughs> God, I'm thinking I'm high. Fucking nausea reduction. We got fucking Mr. Helicopter Pinochet himself, and then we got crazy-ass fucking Emperor of Japan Hirohito. Um, you know... For me, they're kind of just the same dude aesthetically. I, I you know, they're, they're just, it's, that's the same vibe. I just get the exact same vibe off of both those dudes. Um, fucking, I 100% want to see Gaddafi in Hirohito's outfit. I 100% want to see Gaddafi in Hirohito's outfit. Dude, H Gaddafi would rock the shit out of that. Hirohito looks like a fucking accountant. He looks like a fucking accountant. All right, he does not belong in that outfit. Fucking Gaddafi could rock that outfit. Gaddafi would make that outfit look tame and calm. Gaddafi be like, yeah, no, this is just like, you know, my pajamas. This is what I wear to bed. This is casual wear on a Sunday for me. Um, <laughs> again, I didn't make the fucking list. So I'm sorry. Um, they're not on the list and so your feelings about these particular politicians aside i didn't create the fucking list if you want to make a list for me to rank aesthetically attractive you know uh, ableistic reductionist fashion a group of politicians to include clinton bush obama feel free to put in the work and create that list and i will do that one of these night shows through uh tuesdays and thursdays for the night shows monday wednesday friday uh, 5.30 p.m. Pacific, for those that are new. Um, so we got Gaddafi's crazy ass. Look, I don't find him hot. Um, but, like, you know, he's not... He's not Lenin, right? Like, he's not Lenin. Like, this is a dude... Like, maybe in his prime. Maybe in a prime. Let's make it a series. Hey, I'm down. I'm fucking down. Um, so, um, yeah. Like, I, I you know, Pol Pot... <sighs> I don't know. He's just, he's a little too old for me in this photo. It's not doing it. It's the, the hat. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's just, I, Pol Pot's not doing it for me. What, what can I fucking say? Um, <laughs> homie ain't working it. Um, fucking Bashir here. Um, 
Bashir here. And then we got Chavez over here with his, I, I don't know. Look, Bashir is just too old. He's out of my age range. I don't like the fucking mustache. I don't like the fucking glasses. The stupid hat doesn't do it for me either. Thanks for the fall, love God. Um, and so, you know, I'm not down. Um, Chavez's goofy fucking ears and his stupid looking uniform. Oh, fucking Karina. What are you doing? Last one ever. All right, fine. Uh, thank you, Karina, though. Um, <laughs> break you guys of this habit. Um, fucking Mugabe. I don't look something about Mugabe. You know what? I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to feel the vibe. Mugabe has like a, um, sort of like a, a, a fucking vaudevillian era cross-dressing lesbian vibe. Like a mom's Mabley. Mugabe's giving me a mom's Mabley vibe in that. Um, for those that know your fucking references, look, there's 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 some youngins in here who especially don't know who the fuck Mom's Mabley is. But if you know who Mom's Mabley is, Mugabe's giving me Mom's Mabley vibes. Um, so there you go. Run with that. Um, fucking, this is that Batusier guy. I just fucking Steven Seagal. He he looks like Steven Seagal. Batusier looked like Desi. Uh, he looked like fucking Steven Seagal. Um, straight up, <laughs> there's, there's, there's no way around that. That dude has like straight Steven Seagal vibes and there's no way you find that attractive. <laughs> That's just, that ain't going to be doing it for anybody. Let's just be honest with ourselves for a second. Um, uh, <laughs> God, oh Lord, what are we doing with our lives? Um, fucking, okay, Weimar Republic, uh, dude here, fucking, yeah, oh, God damn, I keep doing that. Um, Ebert, or Siskel, I had to make the joke eventually. Um, oh, okay, cool, all right, then, uh, good to know, Karina. Um, <laughs> oh, gee, yeah, because uh, for those of you that do want to sub, just know that you, there's a sub command that you can use that, um, fucking that or, or donation or donos or tip. Don't, don't sub on Twitch. Don't sub on Twitch. Don't give Amazon your money. There's so many better ways to do it. We use coffee here. Um creators get paid more they get the money immediately and and jeff bezos doesn't get a fucking cut right now dude we're just taking up electricity for these motherfuckers let's just get we'll get twitch to pay some of the bills right who cares uh if you're doing prime subs though you know that's free money i get it um so anyway uh fucking khrushchev i mean this is khrushchev yeah this is khrushchev um he's just i mean I don't know. I what it, what it, he's an average dude in a business suit. He's just he's boring. He's boring. <sighs> All right, let's get to McPoyle here. Look, he's not Lennon ugly, but McPoyle looking motherfucker that this doofy motherfucker looks like. Putin's not a good looking dude. He's never been a good looking dude. It's why he overcompensates so much. He's just not, he's just, <laughs> it, it, look, Libra, if I could put Lennon further in the can, he would be. Dude, Lennon is not a good looking human being, inside and out, as I keep pointing out. Not a good dude. Um, but he, you know, McPoyle up here looks a little bit better than him. I, you know, if I, that's, that's not the same fucking thing, for sure. Um, this was that con dude. Um, I, you know, what are you going to say? Look, I, you got to be a certain type of, uh, of individual to pull off a military uniform. You got to have some swag to it, right? You got to have some panache. You got to have some character in your soul to really pull off a military uniform, especially if you're the kind of dude that rises to dictatorship level. So, you know. He's not doing it. 
He's not doing it. What can I, you know, it is what it is. Um, fucking, this is Idi Amin, right? This is the crazy motherfucker that was eating people. All right. So, I mean, you know, you could see Putin eating somebody. This is the right vibe, right? Like, this is the same level. This crazy motherfucker be eating people. And again, he's a boring dude in a business suit that went, eventually went batshit crazy. But, like, you know, he's a boring dude in a business suit who ended up eating some motherfuckers. So, you know, let's just kick him out of the club. Um, fuck it. Oh. Uh. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with a no on that one. And the Vosh hate is insane. I absolutely love it. Dude, it's fucking delicious. Dude, people hate Vosh. It's fucking, dude, don't care that much. Don't care that much. Vosh is a rhetorician and an orator and a streamer. That's it. Just leave it at that. Like, and he's a good rhetorician, by the way. Sorry, he is. Um, you may disagree with his points, but as far as his skillful use of rhetoric goes, he knows what he's doing. I will never take that away from him. His positions, his profile, his character, his essence as a human being, all of this up is up for fucking conversation as far as I'm concerned. But as far as his skill as a rhetorician goes, the dude's got, he's got game. Just give him that. Uh, he's a halfway decent orator. Um, but dude, it, people hate on Vosh so hard. It's hilarious. Like, dude, who gives a shit? He gives a shit. You know, there's like real evil in this world, right? Like people who are like doing harm. We got a video on the server right now, verified by German uh, German fucking media, that a uh, um a, a overhead um surveillance platform literally zooms in, and you can fucking see up close a Russian soldier just summarily executing a father in front of his wife and kid. And it's been verified by German media. They tracked down the guy, the, the pilot of the drone and everything. And it's like, you know, Vosh is not putting a gun to like some father's, some kneeling, crying father's head in the middle of Ukraine right now, executing him. So like, take it down a fucking notch and get some perspective on your life. People need to fucking chill. Too many, this is why fucking people, the left eats itself all the time. because crazy shit like that. Fucking who gives a fuck? Take it down. All right. So Lenin, right? I mean, look, I, I have a personal grudge against Lenin. This is the motherfucker that betra betrayed Nestor. This is the motherfucker that bombed the, like, artillery shell to the anarchist club in Moscow. This is the motherfucker that let, like, straight up did some green light on anarchists, right? I got problems with Lenin, but he's also dog shit hideous, right? This motherfucker is ugly. Like, this is, this is the definition of ugly here, folks. Like, he's not a good-looking dude. Um, so, fuck him. Like, for a lot of reasons. Um, yeah, and fuck Stalin. And fuck anybody who likes Stalin. Stal Stalin was an authoritarian prick who, you know, got what he deserved, but not soon enough. Let's just put it that way. That motherfucker, fuck Stalin. But Stalin would have purged Vosh. Yeah, that's why Stalin is a horrible, horrible human being and should never be looked up to. Anyway, so. Oh, no, no, no. He's got like Asiatic descent and shit, Karina. Um, if Tim Pool and Lennon had a baby, it would look like Tim Pool's a square. <laughs> I got the fucking sound effect. Why am I fucking doing that for you? There you go. Yeah, I actually have the cue. Um, is, is Hazzy two holes? Like, oh shit. Are we doing it here? Let's do it. Um, that's our pocket has. Is this stream based or cringe? That's for you to decide. Because here's the truth of the matter. Uh, I'm an anarchist. Hi, my name's Kai. Uh, I believe in individual autonomy. So, uh, Yagi, it's up to you to decide for yourself whether this stream is based or cringe or none of the above. 
um, or some combination therein. Tonight, either way, we're just wrapping up a, a, a we did we did a hot or not dictators and revolutionaries edition. It's the night show. We're getting a little weird. I'm tired. I'm kind of high. Um, and feel free to join me. Um, so we're just wrapping that up. Either way. Uh, we were just talking about the dog shit ugly that uh, face that is uh, fucking Lenin here. Um, and then we've got the like honorable mentions here. They have to go in category in like the lowest level because they're fucking high schoolers. This is Kim Jong Un and this is Assad, right? This is Un. Here's Assad over here. And they're both decent looking dudes. Um, they, they have aesthetic appeal to them, but they're fucking high schoolers. So they're level one uh because i agreed at the beginning of this uh the outset of this little project here that i would be judging them solely on their picture not who they will become or who they were um and so that's just how that ended up <laughs> so um and then we got franco's punk ass um god i keep fucking doing that uh, we got Franco's punk ass. Um, so, you know, multiple problems here with him, especially as an anarchist. But also, he's just not doing it for me. He's too old. He's too balding. He's too, his mustache is stupid. The wrong, He's got the wrong size shaped head. I don't dig his chin. I don't like... Dude, I don't like him. He's fucking ugly to me. So, there you go. There's there's the fucking list. Um, if anybody wants a copy of, uh, of the... Uh, let's see. Can I copy oh what's the copy link here's the um yeah oh no that's it's literally sorry about that i'm a i'm about to drop some fucking spam in chat um can i get the bot to pull that i can't pull it jesus christ can i not i can delete any of y'all's fucking messages but i can't delete my own I, holy shit uh, the list is on Discord. Um, fucking, that is the stupidest ass shit I have seen. Uh, oh, shit. I never got to see the thumbnail. Oh, we will be using this thumbnail. Oh, shit. All right. Um, it will be in... Uh, you know what? Uh, it's going to be a welcome reprieve. Um, if you got, if y'all want a, um, the tier maker list, it's in a wake, welcome reprieve on the Discord server under shared content. Um, feel free to grab it there. Um, and then let me pop this thumbnail. We're definitely going to use this. Fratus made this thumbnail. I was looking forward to seeing this one. Um, here's the, here's the thumbnail for, uh, for the segment. Um. Thank you. Thank you, Amherst. Thank you. Um, baked and basted. Um. Uh, Yes, yes. Uh, regulars who are here late night, uh, we're looking for a late night mod. Karina can't be up all night and shit like that. And, I, you know, and I, I one of these days I'm just going to fucking like uh, roofy caboose and he's going to wake up a mod. Um, but until that day comes, um, let me know if you're a regular, like, you know, that sort of thing. Like, you know, look, let me know if you're up to the job, if you want it. It's not a difficult gig. It's a pretty easy fucking gig to mod this channel, seeing as we don't. We don't do a lot of the fucking <laughs> caboose kicks and screams, I know, right? Either way, let me know if you want to do it. Um, all right, cool. So we're going to, you know, I will use that fucking, um, that screen, that thumbnail, though. Thank you, Fratus. That's a great, uh, that's a, uh, that's a great fucking thumbnail. Oh. <laughs> uh, Amorous for Toos, the boat, the two of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was really good content. That was a really good time. Um, refusing to mod gang. Um, you want to do another one with theory people? Hey, I'm down. I would down. I would put a mobile and wouldn't it be helpful. Eh, no worries. Um, Caleb, we'll talk. You're kind of new still, and it. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. It's nothing against you, man. It's just, you know, fucking regulars and shit like that. We'll see, though. You're def Thank you for putting your hat in your that in the ring, and I'll definitely, um, we'll talk more about it. Um, uh, Cricks as well. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. I want to just keep the bragging rights and power to see deleted messages. <laughs> uh, 
for two that's that's quite that's quite all right i understand um all right so wait i'm getting notifications over here too jesus christ uh all right cool 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 oh uh, new new members on the discord server welcome welcome um The banned and permitted terms are always interesting to look through. Yeah, our, our banned and permitted list is uh, quite interesting, seeing as we have a lot of discussions that are of uh, um, interesting nature, and our community likes to express themselves in a very um, specific style and manner that is uh, somewhat aligned, I suppose, with myself. And so <laughs> there are often terms that mods and myself have to allow that are perfectly acceptable for our uh, our style of discussion and conversation on this channel uh, <laughs> uh night mod was a good gig until nightbot came to town uh <laughs> no worries, no worries nova um oh let's see you know what um okay Two options here. Two options. Um, we could get a little bit of gaming in. Karina, if you're down, I could do like the first session of Risk of Rain 2 ever. Caleb, it's uh, Caleb. Ty, a Kai Topless stream when? Um, maybe one of these days. Let me get a little more swole. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Um... Oh yeah, Roy got past the welcome screen. Interesting. Um, that's a decent sign for a human being. Um, yeah, uh, Karina, you still here? You still alive? Uh, there's a thirst picture in Discord somewhere. Uh, if you go to Anarcho Meatheads, if you want a thirst picture of Kai, you can go find it in Anarcho Meatheads. It's it's posted somewhere in there. Um, I have a green sheet and lay in a hot tub. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. All right. So Karina, Karina died. Um, that's okay. Um, so is any of the, uh, Zomboid players for the community want to get like an hour in on the new multiplayer server because, oh, little hiccup there, little hitch. Um, because Buddhist, uh, rip Karina, I know, right? Because Buddhist and I tested new server settings and then Kat and I have established ourselves on the new server. Um, no, you did, your message didn't go through at all, Karina. We haven't seen shit. Um, so no, we didn't see anything from you. Yeah, I know. The welcome screen is this weirdest, it's the weirdest phenomenon. We, we, I, we, C Caboose is not fucking with you, Roy. Um, like, the, we have sincerely, I don't think we've ever seen an exception. It, the longer it takes an individual to make it past that welcome screen on the Discord server, the worse of an individual they end up being. It is, it's an absolutely absurd thing. I, I've never, um, it's sleepy time. Gotta get, oh, no worries, Karina. No worries. Um, okay. So, Libra, you may have been in before the welcome screen. Um, no, Amorous, the racists, the racists have problems with it too. Yeah, Libra, you, you, I think you were in before the welcome screen. So, yeah, there's a bunch of you that are. Um, so, all right. If nobody wants to get a zomboid session in and nobody wants to, uh, Karina's going to bed. So I'm going to do risk of rain two with Karina. Um, that's how that's going to go. And if nobody wants to get a zomboid session in, then I am, um, you can do zomboid. All right, caboose. Let's, uh, let's do some zomboid. Let me kick it off. Um, I'm going to get a, like an hour in. Uh, for those that you don't know, uh, I am a Zomboy player. I'm, uh, my core game is, was, and always will be Hitman. Um, uh, Mythic, read chat after your sub command. 
You see where it has instructions about fuck Twitch and their scammy ways. Want to donate, subscribe, try using thanks. Use it that that's um that's the it's in chat for me as well. Uh, it's also in chat on my phone. It's it's literally a you thing. Um, okay, so we're gonna have some hitches while I uh, while I start up the the multiplayer server. Um, let me get you the link then, uh, Mythic. Hang on, let me just post it for you. Um, how about that? You see that Mythic? That's weird. Um, that's yeah, that's a really strange fucking thing, Twitch. Twitch, man. Twitch. F fuck it. It is what it is, right? This platform is dog shit. <laughs> but you know what? It's not nearly as bad as uh, the platform that we came from back in the olden days, olden days. Um, all right. So host. Start it. All right. It's going to do its thing behind the scenes. There's going to be some hitching, I'm sure. It's going to be a bunch of that shit. Uh, the Wild West of Podbean. Yep, the Wild West of Podbean. Yeehaw! Where race wars were a very real thing. Um. Anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let me get it. Uh, let me get it on air here. Um. Okay. So somebody had like questions or some shit. Um. I mean, we're not really doing a whole lot of theory right now. Um. But if you got questions, let me, just shoot them my way or shoot the shoot them in the community's way. Like the fact of the matter is, is I've been educating these motherfuckers and they've been educating themselves and fuck, we've been working as a goddamn book club functionally uh, for ages now with some of, uh, some of them. Like there's people in this community that can answer the question, but like you got questions. I think I saw it go by, sock dem, why should I be an anarchist? There's anarchism. Oh, there's another hitch. There's there's anarchism from the bot. This is This is me right typing here basically like that's not some stock definitional set that you know this is from years and years i mean literally a couple of decades now um i might be a little bit older than you think um but that's a couple of decades of like direct action street action and then um study of theory and political science and that sort of thing that has informed that definitional set so if you got questions beyond that cool 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 hey mythic um thank you kindly mythic um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, it's just a CIA front anyway. Oh, uh, thank you for the welcome back message, Mythic. Um, uh, yes, and fuck PayPal. I mean, fuck, uh, fuck Twitch. PayPal, you know what, Peter Thiel, fuck PayPal too. Um, but, you know, at least it's not fucking Twitch taking half your fucking money on everything. You should um, you should do that, by the way, Mythic. If you're doing the sub thing and the affiliate thing, dude, move it over to coffee and tell everybody to not sub to you on Twitch. It's not worth it. Dude, don't sign dude, don't sign the affiliate contract. Don't sign the affiliate contract. If you have if you've done it already, you can back out of it. It's a pain in the ass, but seriously. Just use coffee. You get more of your money anyway. You get it instantly too, by the way. Yeah. Recurring subscriptions, instant money, um, fucking, yeah, 100%. So much better to set it up. Um, all right, it's, it's initializing the server. So many people want emotes, though. Frank, you know, fucking better, to, better TTV. Who gives a shit? Right? They're fucking emotes. Um, dude, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Dude, people, it's just because of the emotes. You just need to get people past that fucking emote addiction. And then, honestly, it's a fuck. Yeah. Like, I mean, do you run a chat that fucking needs that kind of, like, it, it's. Yeah. Oh, are you on? Oh, dude, you can't be here, and I can't have you. Dude, are you on... S I can't... Dude, I can't... <laughs> um, yeah. No. Bye. <laughs> Much love. Um... 
All right, Caboose, if you want to jump on VC whenever you're ready. Oh, it's not Mythic? Okay, duly noted. Um, I didn't even know. I didn't even know. I was like, oh, wait, is that a thing for you? Yeah. As soon as I was made aware, I want Twitch to note, as soon as I was made aware of any potential issue, whether they are or aren't, I, I, I made a point to distance, you know, oh, it's, it's, it's a different, uh, oh, okay, so it's a, it's a, it's a pun name and a play on, duly noted. Um, all right, let me move Caboose over to on air. I should just give, you're one of the few that I should probably just give the privilege to, but manually. Um, all right. You're going to have to put up with, like, you know, on streaming, that sort of thing. Um, my mix, my mix, my mix minus can't be turned on um, when I'm on air. So, all right. I need music to, like, shut the fuck up because this is that kind of game. Um, I need to be able to hear this game. Um, all right. Boom, boom. All right. So, bam, bam, and then let me send you some invites. Um, and anybody else who wants to play, let me know. Fucking, I will get you in this game, uh, whether you're new or not. Um, fucking, yeah, whatever. Rush is going to be an entity that doesn't even exist here in a couple of years. It's fucking hilarious. Um, Putin has fucked that country so hard in the ass. It's, it's absolutely adorable. Um, all right, so... Gets you over to game, and this is the first time I've had uh, fucking Zomboid up on since we had uh, we had to do the thing. All right. Nope, nope, nope. All right. And now I'm going to look at it. All right, cool. Move you up there. And I will pop you guys out so I can see chat over here. And yeah, you're probably going to have some mod updates to do, Caboose, for sure. Uh, it just crashed. It just crashed? Oh, it was updating. Fuck. Um, hold on. Let me... Uh, there we go. All right, we'll put me right up here. That'll that'll be best for Zomboid. All right. What do we got going on here? Um, all right, let me send you another invite. I don't know what that does, but I'm going to send another one. There we go. Um, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? <coughs> Western arrogance is what is hysterical. You'll see. How shall we see Russia is based? What 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 shall be the 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 hellfire and brimstone that the likes of Putin and yourself will rain down upon our our arrogant, decadent, degenerate Western selves? Hey, and there's the fucking um, there's the the Jewish thing. It's, it's always, dude, it's always three fucking minutes out, isn't it? Dude, they're always the same. It's fu It's absolutely hilarious. Uh, does Hazzy work on this side? I don't think I've got Hazzy programmed for this, for the game. That's, that's, I, I specifically took us off of, uh, off of that. Let's see, what are we doing here? I'm, Cause we're over on Zombo, uh, Zomboy now. Uh... Yeah, let's do that. How you doing, Caboose? Loading. Cool. All right. Uh, oh, he's uh, uh, coughing up a lung. Add a boy. Yeah, how are you doing? Well, um, I have my voice back at the very least. A small victories, small victories. Yeah. F fucking. Uh, what's what's this motherfucker listen to? Provoked Britney? Oh yeah, of course. Um. 
You don't know who it is. Yes. You fucking, I simply uh, followed that person to chat in their chat. One, if fucking provoked Britney does that, she's an even, even worse cunt than she is just for the, all the other shit, because I absolutely despise that. It's Jesus, you've had it a lot. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this is a heavily modded server that Buddhist and I tested like for hours, one early AM. And, like, seriously, like, 2 a.m. to, like, 6 or 7 a.m., like, yeah, like, Buddhist and I sorted all all of these server settings to try and figure out what feels the most accurate and real and what, you know, all of these sorts of things. And, yeah, this is this is a fresh mod set. Uh, if anybody wants to see the mods, I think, uh, on the PZ, uh, on the Project Zomboid server, I think pretty sure there's a uh, exclamation pz command both on discord and on twitch that you can avail yourselves of to see exactly how heavily modded this server is um but it is quite a heavy mod set and that is sort of how we prefer it um let's see all right um uh, let's see. Britney is so cringe. I'm a leftist. Spelt's Nazi talking points one to one. Um, well, let's. Uh, anybody see has fucking on tw uh, on Twitter? I am a conservative. Yeah, we know, dumbass. You're a fucking authoritarian, socially and fi uh, social and fiscal conservative douchebag. Now go hang out with those fucking black hammer rejects and call it a fucking day. Oh God, dude! That fucking black hammer image you posted. <laughs> Isn't it painful just to see them that any was minute? Just pain yeah you're like god damn it will you just shut the fuck up and go away you controlled opposition motherfuckers like dude they are an op black hammer is an op i'm sorry that shit is as fed as fed gets like homie yeah lamb back what's wrong with a fiscal conservative uh oh i don't know it has caused the ruination of oh i don't know multiple developing world countries the demise of the middle class in america the absolute let's just start racking up the amount of deaths that the fiscal conservatives have caused with uh environmental regulation uh lack of or environmental deregulation and lack of funding on a governmental level of oh i don't know pre-k programs healthcare programs for the young or elderly, or all of us, um, you know, fiscal conservatism has basically been on the hook for, I don't know, a few million American deaths at this point. So, yeah. I don't think you know what it means. Oh, isn't that crazy how fucking we can just level accusations at one another because we haven't established a shared dialogue at this point and we actually haven't investigated each other's uh, underlying definitional sets? Do you understand what conservatism is and where it actually derives itself from and what the, uh, ver uh, the uh, salient points and various philosophers who are intrinsically tied to it is, as well as some of the underpinnings as far as... Con uh, as far as capitalism goes, because if we're going to talk about fiscal conservatism, then we need to talk about the origins of capitalism as an, uh, as an entity and how it was uh, brought to bear in America. So are you aware of any of these topics? Because I have a feeling you're not, but I have had, oh, I don't know how many streams where I talk about these topics. So I'm on record as knowing what these topics are about, and you can go past, uh, through past podcasts, VODs, and essays to see that I, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. You, my friend, though, you are brand new here. You are the one with things to prove, not I. So feel free to enlighten the class as to what your understanding of both conservatism and fiscal conservatism are. Good luck with that. Um, okay, so the breads are starting to go rotten. Okay, duly noted. Um, you're just spouting words. Yes, that's just what talking is, my friend. It's words. But then we have shared definitional sets. We have understandings and meanings that we, uh, we have since we're a social entity. Um, you know, well... <laughs> Unlike the uh, French post-structuralists who believe there is no shared meaning and that we can never truly know the inside of each other's minds. But I'm not a post-structuralist, 
so at the end of the day, you and I, I believe, could have some shared definitional sets and understand what each other means and thinks within our own minds and our own universes of cognition. Well, that is if you understand any of these topics, which, again, is still up for debate. How's your download going, Caboose? Done. I've been waiting for a chance to ask you where to spawn. Oh, uh, we are in West Point expansion. Thank you. Um, uh, remember, um, short sighted is free points entirely. Um, it's just you know no big deal. Um, and then let me. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ! It's been a minute. Um. Smoker, weak stomach, and short-sighted are essentially free points. You're going to find cigarettes everywhere. Weak stomach only matters if you're eating bad food, which we don't do. Uh, and short-sighted is literally free points. Um, and then Sunday driver is basically free points as well. Like, it's, dude, we're not going to be doing huge road trips, so it doesn't fucking matter. Um, and then... Oh, this <coughs> Sorry. No worries. This mod adds mechanics, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's all sorts of stuff that these that these add. Um, yes. Yeah, so yes, I'm just stalling. It's not like I have. Oh no, what are we up to? Four thirty, four forty. It's not like I have like four hundred and approaching four hundred and fifty episodes of Proudly Radical where I talk about these topics on a regular basis. Nor do I write essays on these sorts of things. Um, yeah, I'm stalling. No, homie, you have to prove yourself to me, not the other way around. It's not how the relationship on this channel works. Sorry. Oops. Terrible swing. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff that the, the mod packs that we have installed at work as. Um, oh my god, you guys have fixed the fucking like character creation menus. Yeah, um, yeah, I got some, I got some fixes going on, and it's just all the way in, just from step one to. Every day, there's a whole bunch of uh, QL that's put in, a whole bunch of features. Um, yeah, like we we really tweaked this fucker. We spent a lot of time that morning working on this goddamn server. Um, yeah, you're right. I have no idea what fiscal conservatism is. Oh, you got me. Anyway. Um, so now that I've admitted that I don't know, absolutely don't know, I have zero clue as to what fiscal conservatism is. You just absolutely stumped me. Uh, will you please explain to me in the class so we can, uh, we can further educate ourselves as to what fiscal conservatism is. I, I will bow down before your brilliant, like, you know, 12 D galactic brain, um, after you define, uh, fiscal conservatism for us. Keep in mind, I have given you more than enough time to Google and then replace words so that we can't just immediately search what you write to uh, see if it came from somewhere on the internet. So, like, you should be able to do this no matter what by now. So please, make me a better human being. Make me a fo more informed uh, individual and teach me, oh great one. Well, the mechanic gets to spawn in a relatively he, nice house. Caboose, he unironically yelled, got him. What? Because yeah, this the, the whole thing. Oh. Uh, yeah, he unironically goes, got him. They're not, dude, what the? Education is not the conservative strong suit, is it? Nor sarcasm, nor humor. I mean, really, they're not great at a whole lot. Hey, what? Russia is base. What's your opinion on uh, welfare? Oh, Jesus. Let's see what... Let's see if he, uh, if he even understands. Uh, hey, what's up, Slayer Darth? How goes it? Fucking, uh... What's she doing, my man? I'm just, uh, ru I'm just wandering around um, West Point Expansion right now. Oh, 
Oh, no. Really? Wow. Holy shit. But they are intrinsically tied to one another. Do you understand? Uh, do you know where that tie comes to? And also, um, the fact of the matter is, is you've yet fiscal conservatism is simply balancing budget, cutting taxes where possible in a prudent way. It's literally no big deal. Okay. All right. Now then we have, uh, we got what we need out of that one. Um, oh, while we were at it, did you understand the roots of conservatism as a whole? I, 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 I would I would love to know where conservatism as a concept comes from, uh, especially as a political philosophy. That'd be great. I, I don't know that one either. So could you please uh, could you please educate me on that one? I'm sure chat will enjoy seeing your uh, your definition uh, uh, or your understanding of that as well. Let's see. Hey now, Spears. Um, no, it's bobby pins I'm after. It's bobby pins I'm after. Oh, come to the window. Come to the window. Come on. Okay, fuck it. I'm out. The fucking horde that came right to the... I don't know what that's about, but holy shit, I pulled a... I, I pulled a few. No big deal, though. Am I really freaking you out? It's crazy, right? Holy shit, man. You should be you should be really concerned for me. It's fucking crazy, man. Um Wow, why why would a, a channel about uh correcting misconceptions be worried about being right? I know, right? He also said that the roots of conservatism comes from to conserve. Missed that one. <laughs> That's another pain. <laughs> oh, pain. Oh Lord. You know any other any other day? Like, see, I love I love the new vibe of the the like the the, the stream and the channel, right? Like the after dark. Like, what right, right, you know, Monday Monday Wednesday and Friday, I'm gonna be fucking that version of Kai. On Tuesday and Thursdays, I'm gonna fucking take nights off and just have some fun with the community. And fucking do the After Dark show and not worry about idiots that don't even know about Edmund Burke or Smithy and Economics or any of that sort of thing, right? Like, normally I just fucking start taking this idiot to task. Um, but, you know, why bother? <laughs> we're all having a good time. We're vibing. We're chilling. We're, you know, we're at various degrees of tipsy and various degrees of stoned, you know? Let's have some fun with it. Um, just because this, you know, genius wandered off the street and is strangely obsessed with proving something to me himself or the room. I don't, I don't really know. Um, but you know, Hey, like I said, homie, I'm, I'm, I'm like 450 episodes into proudly radical alone. I got previous fucking stuff and other community and, you know, discords or I got nothing to prove at this point. <laughs> <laughs> fucking a ask around <laughs> like it's just it's good to just let your ego like sit at the door call it a day sometimes but you know maybe sit down have a beer have a smoke my man chill out there's there's more to life than that um yeah caboose you're spawned in a pretty relatively safe area cat uh, and i have what the fuck was that? Whoa. I just got kicked. I just fucking had an entirely black screen. Like, it just faded to black. I don't know what the fuck its deal is. Um, give me one sec. Hold on. We're going to go over to face cam. Um, I think it's uh, de-initializing the server. Whatever it is. Let me check it. Yeah, the RAM is coming down fast because uh, it allocates five gigs of RAM. I think we've got allocated for the server. Um, so let me let that transition here for a second. You got your character spawned in though, and it's um, uh, it's saved on client side. Yeah, that just deinitialized the server. I don't know what the fuck that was about. 
dude. Did you hit some kind of key command or something? No, I didn't. I don't think so. I did, dude. That would take an escape and then a quit and then a verification. That just faded to black suddenly for me. Um, yeah, and dude, Buddhist and I were on here for like six hours, and then Cat and I were on here from like we spent an an afternoon and an evening on here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, there's ha- there's pocket has. What's a pocket has? Oh, fuck it. Pocket has. Oh, fuck it. You know, if if only, like, if he eventually just fades into obscurity, like I so hope he does, Um, I will be super grateful that he at least gave us pocket has. Like, that's... that's I mean, he doesn't really do anything besides just say crazy shit and make an occasional appearance, so... I know, right? Fucking, he's basically serving his uh, serving his function. Um, <clears throat> uh, oh, oh, uh, um, Slayer Darth. If I don't mind, uh, uh, where do you stand politically in the center, closer to the left of the spectrum, center right? Uh, Darth, I'm in a card carrying uh, card carrying anarchist. If we were handing out cards. Um, I have been an anarchist since a very long time now, uh, several, a de- uh, couple of decades. Let's just put it that way. And um, I started in the streets. I was an organizer. I did did stuff that we don't necessarily still we still don't necessarily talk about, um, like any good good anarchist boy would do. Um, and then eventually one day I started doing theory as well because I figured I should be able to back up this uh, this shit that I was talking about. Um, and then that's about a decade of, uh, decade of theory study right there. Um, so yeah, no, I'm an anarchist, uh, as to what flavor of anarchist, if you're looking for that, I'm not an income, I'm not an ancestor. I am a, just a, uh, let's call it box standard anarchist because that's what I am uh, focused on as an educator. Um, but I am technically a post left post anarchist. If you're looking for like the political science, subcategorization of anarchism that I ascribe or belong to, it would be a post, uh, post left post anarchist. Um, and if you understand, uh, the, uh, the post leftism or you don't let me know, it doesn't mean I'm not a leftist. It just means I have critiques of the left as an anarchist. Um, this is mother. Did he just say that, uh, wait, 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 this motherfucker, do we need to do something about this? Is this motherfucker need to go? Um. He's teetering on TOS. I... Um, uh, anarchism doesn't mean, uh, lack of rules or chaos. So get with the program. Catch you later. Anyway. Um, all right. So game is back in. I'm going to send you an invite. That's fucking weird as shit, man. Uh, it doesn't look like I, like I missed anywhere. All right. There we go. Cut around in the house. I'm jumping a few blocks away. I'll be back in about 30, 40 minutes. All right, cupcake. Dude, that's who should be the fucking mod is cupcake. Cupcake's not always awake at night, though. <laughs> that's, that's, dude, that's, that's who needs to be a fucking mod up in this bitch is cupcake. Um, okay. So I think we had, <coughs> he was fun. <laughs> oh, <it's been> a- <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor thing. Oh, it only, it only really coughs when I talk. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. It's been a while since we had a tanky or a chud to play around with. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, fucking, I, 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 I'm really going to try and make a policy of like, you know, not a policy, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to Tuesdays and Thursdays, night shows, I'm going to try and like change the tone of the shows entirely. 
And there's no point in fucking like, you know, dealing with that shit on a night show. <clears throat> All right. Come back, come back during a fucking day show and we can talk about your bullshit ideas and how you're wrong. <laughs> right. But night shows, I think, need to be like the Europeans are going to get fucked. I don't know if the Europeans are going to get pissed at me. Like, you know, can we get some politics? Mm, not really. No. <laughs> Um, good old night trolls. I know, right? It's that code. I literally got it right. Yeah, I figured, Cupcake. I figured. Um. Oh, good. It spawned me back into the forest. Um, Viva said just a bit. Yeah, Viva. I mean, there's no, there's no, like, it's an inevitability, right? Like, I can't. I'm a fucking addict, right? Like, I can't stay away from politics entirely it's not something i'm capable of but yeah, the tone of the show is generally going to try and be a little more lighthearted, a little more you know whatever loose quippy comedic lighthearted, you know that sort of thing <laughs> amorous i don't need more politics i know everything already Atta boy, that's the spirit. Man, Caleb is gonna hate your Vosh segment if you ever get around to it. Um, I'm in the Commons talking with him and Roy, and apparently Caleb really fucking hates Vosh. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. It's just, I, it's silly. It's silly. Hot tub stream when? Uh, late night naked shows when uh, you gotta Caleb uh, that's a whole other tier of membership let's just put it that way uh, fucking <laughs> hot tub stream when dude Libra I've been talking about it for years though like one day one day um hey caboose yeah I made it I found you okay that um, fucking map mod is a godsend yeah we're gonna turn it off eventually not on this server but on a different iteration cat and i have like some plans for like play styles and we'll we'll turn it off for uh for certain purposes um fucking uh oh by the way darth thanks for that follow button oh my man um I, I have been wanting to do a a hot tub, like a proper outdoor hot tub stream with like shotgun mics and shit like that f since the Podbean days. All right, so you want to go back to the base? We'll get you kitted out. We got some shit. Sure. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Cat and I may have been here. Um. I've noticed. Yeah. In fact, your your handiwork wasn't hard to follow. <laughs> we do. We fought for this. We fought for this. This this was not an easy get. Um, but there is. Do Cat and I have hilarious stories from this uh, from this afternoon and night that we did this? Oh my god! Cat chose to build his character with the underweight class, and we we beat it in three hours. I'm not kidding you. It's called the Mayo Meta. We were cat. Cat's character was chugging entire bottles of mayonnaise, three thousand calories a pop, and entire pi pints of ice cream. Every time he was slightly hungry, he force fed the character. Fucking. <laughs> it was absolutely okay. You know what? You're fucking completely unarmed. Uh, let's go over the fence here. Um. Yeah, it was absolutely absurd. In three hours, we had the weight gain up to where it was now no longer underweight. <laughs> like, yep. Holy shit. <laughs> We're like, fucking mayo meta, bitch. I'm feeding cat. I'm literally feeding cat. It's like some fucking feeder eater fetish shit going on. It was so weird. But yeah, like I'm, I'm running around. He's shoving the mayo down his throat with a stick? Yeah, basically. Like Cat was fucking working on leveling his character and get like grinding some shit out, and I'm fucking I'm like leaving pints. I'm like, hey, go disassemble that uh, that refrigerator. And by the way, there's a pint of ice cream in the freezer, right? Like, 
<laughs> it was absolutely absurd. It was, yeah, it was, it was a solid fucking three hours of just, just shoving food down cat's character's throat. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> oh, it was, yeah, that's, it, it, we fought for this place. This was not an easy, easy get. Um, Midtown was a pain in the ass. Boop. Hey, Zippy. Um, Midtown was a pain in the ass for us. It, it was, there's, there's some places. And as you can see, uh, it doesn't work on this screen. Um, I don't do a lot of the effects. Like I've, I've purposefully chosen not to do a lot of the effects on like gaming or browser because that's usually indicative of we're doing something and there's something else on the screen. Um, so that's, that's the logic behind it. So, sorry. Also, Zippy, you were you not here yesterday? You should know the command for that. You don't need to spend channel points on that shit. I may have actually started a flame war in the commons, and I apologize. It's okay. It is what it is. It happens. It happens. It happens. Um. Okay, so, oh, yeah, you need to, like, know some of this. Um. All right, so this... Is the Whole Foods? It's straight up. It, you can look at the green font on the fucking food market. It's Whole Foods. This is literally what a Whole Foods looks like. It's the same fucking green font on the outside, right? This is our food. Yeah, that's Whole Foods, all right. It's Damn. a Whole Foods. This is a fucking Whole Foods. A hundred percent of the day, this is a Whole Foods. So this is this is. Do you even have Whole Foods in the nineties? No, not at all. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? They've been around since the eighties on like the East Coast. Oh. Um, okay, so, like, we got freezers and shit. We got, like, down here, I've started stockpiling. Like, I got the double. Um, go oh, damn. We got, dude, we got plenty. You got plenty of fucking food. Like, there's preserved food. There's dried food. There's frozen food. There's, like, refrigerated food. There's plenty of food. So, here's your here's your kitchen, basically. Uh, we, have a, we have a facility that we've started moving over to, you know what, while I'm here. What's my inventory look like? Yeah, 100%. 100% we're doing this while I'm here. This fucker's coming with me. Um, so we've started moving a lot of this uh, over to 1980 in Texas. Yeah, Austin. Um, all right, grab it. And I'll throw this in my... Uh, don't worry about it. No, no, no. I don't need you to grab it. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. I'm... Yeah, I, I've got... We can... I literally just fucking <laughs> when I was like, yeah, I just fucking threw the refrigerator in the uh, in my backpack because like because like you got a backpack freezer. I'm like, yep, uh, it's just it's just how that works now. Um, <laughs> we'll get you some stuff. Oop. Yeah. Um, oh shit, Marcus. So is there a way you can reinforce this stuff? Because you know, Windows aren't exactly gonna stop zombies. Oh no no no, that's just our fucking dude. That's just our store. Like that's that. Don't even worry about that. Oh, okay. Yeah, wait till you see the base. <laughs> oh, Buddhist I and I was the base. No, that's just our store. Um, Buddhist and I, um, we considered it. Cat and I considered it, but Buddhist and I actually discovered during our test runs um, the the location that is the base. Um, and so we, uh, yeah, Marcus, how did court go? Um, uh, so yeah, this is, this is where our base is. We were considering fortifying the perimeter, but then Kat and I decided we would just murder anything that got near the perimeter. Um, and we found it much easier. This is a very big building. Um, so the outer windows here on this, this area, this is all metal sheeted. There, this is all metal reinforced outside. There's no getting oh in, goodness. getting in through any of that. Um, so we tend to use the the garage doors. As you can see, we might oh. we might have some storage. Jesus Christ! Um, it, it's it might have literally everything that you need to do anything. Um, we'll get to shopping for you, but here, here's, there's a sink right there if you need it. And then there's more sinks and bathrooms. But if you come all the way down the end of the hall, this is our ad hoc kitchen. 
um, stove, freezer, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, we're starting to stock it, like dried goods and stuff like that. Um, and then if you come next door, this is the gym. This is where you'll find the uh, wrong, wrong one. Um, next one. Oh. This is where you find the treadmill. Um, the, tr cool. the, the treadmill, is this the, uh, crashing treadmill or no. is this the, uh, okay. Treadmill, the, the treadmill works. Uh, you just right click it and say, use treadmill. Um, and you start running. And what happens is when you get off it, you'll get an XP gain to both fitness and strength. Oh shit. Nice. Um, basically you run to exhaustion and then you, um, eat rest do it again and you spend a couple of days doing that and you can level your fitness and strength pretty effectively um the outer side of this what what is the you know this is where we i walled off the fucking with all the metal sheeting um we're not yet using the rest of this this is just more office area um and then when you come around this back side this is the other side of that warehouse area um and then upstairs uh, what you'll find is if you go left, uh, right up the stairs, <clears throat> you'll find this upper office area with even more storage. Um, we, yeah. Um, so over here, what you will find on this wall, though, is an elevator. That's what these doors are and those buttons are. So if you click this wall, uh, you can see a selection, use elevator, and you can use the elevator. The ele elevator is now actually functioning. So you can just, you know, use the elevator and it goes down to the hallway downstairs. Um, yeah, right there. Right click that. And then you'll see use elevator. And you can jump downstairs to the, um, to the floor. It's right in the hallway. And of course, there's a sink and a mini fridge and a uh, microwave upstairs as well. Um, and then what you will see, there's um, there's multiple floors to this uh, facility. You know, plenty of storage along the way, depending on what we're trying to do with various areas. And what we're doing with this first area is a rooftop garden. You're just kitting this place out. Yes. Um... Yes, the, the rooftop garden is the, the first thing. Um, we're, you know, we're handling that. Um, and then you can continue all the way up to the top floor. And Just showed you going over the wall and then jumped right back up to the top floor. Huh. And then here is the very top the floor roof. Yeah, it will. It will end up being another garden set as will down Damn. here. These, we will knock these windows out. We'll maybe knock a well, wall. We won't be hurting for food. Yeah. We've got sledgehammers so we can knock walls out and remodel this place and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically, um, also there's, uh, down here, there is on this far side, um, a door that is outside. This is a stair nice. staircase down, and there's a door in the bottom that comes in the uh, downstairs as well. Just did the wall jumping down and back up thing yeah, well. again. And there we this go. This game is so glitchy. Yeah, it's janky as fuck. I love it. All right, so it is. There you go. There's the the tour of the facility as it stands. Um. I think over here is yeah. You get to get you a uh, a school bag. Oh, you know what? Here, um, here's a duffel bag. That's that's gonna be better for you. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, basically, what I'm gonna tell you is like, look around. <laughs> Like, well, you know, like f there, there are tools and everything just a mile deep, basically. Um, I will make you a baseball bat here. Um, I'll make you a spiked bat. So you have that. Why am I in that inventory? Um, do I not have nails on me? Okay. I usually carry nails, but, oh, uh, here is a satchel as well. 
Um, just come over here and look at the ground uh, for inventory. The satchel, you should be able to wear at the same time, I think, as the duffel bag. Yes, you can. Yeah. Um, we rock it with, uh, there we go, box of nails. Um, uh, let me tell you, I do wish ill on the person who invented morning stand-up meetings. Yeah, that's a fucking terrible idea. Um, all right, so let me make a baseball bat here, uh, a spiked bat for you there. Um, all right, so oh, it was an adversarial at this point. I just filed a few petitions and helped my former boss with a retrial motion for a murder case. Um, here is your spiked bat on the floor. Um, Thank th you. There you go. Um, and yeah, like literally just start looking around. Um, there is stuff everywhere. Um, so tools that you need, you will find hammers, saw, fucking whatever you need, screwdriver. It, it It's going to be in here somewhere. You just got to find it. Um, put on checking in with her later today. See what she thinks. Uh, so you want a chance to win. Yeah, basically guy wasn't even my client. They just know they could tempt me with a murder case. Court's usually a boring affair. I'm just really into even boring stuff for some reason. Oh, you lawyer types, Marcus. I love you guys. You're crazy as fuck. It's nice to be able to weaponize my nerdiness for good sometimes. Um, oh, oh, there we go. Pop Holy shit, I got a machete in here. Dude, I'm telling you. Um, it's not great until we attach it to a spear. I'll tell you that right now. That's the meta on the med machetes is you get a level 10 carpentry and um, you attach it to a spear. You get three of them going. And basically when it breaks, you can just disassemble the spear and the machetes in perfect condition. Yeah, it's fuck it. It's absolutely absurd. Um, but, you know, use use what you can, what you like. Um, we got everything you need. Um, okay, so I need to put this freezer down. Uh, even the storage is anarchy. Um, the storage is not created by me, actually. Uh, we, uh, we expropriated this uh, facility that was uh, run by a capitalist pig. And um, this was the state in which we found it. We are still beginning to remodel it. Um, that's just how this, uh, uh, this operation works at this stage. It's still early days, uh, for what would this be? Anarcho Haven three or 4.0. I think that's 3.0. Um, here's our communal garden, um, mutual aid, like a motherfucker. We feed the community. We feed the community. We defend the community from threats. We feed the community. It's great. Um, but this, and I have a machete spear. Hey, machete spear for the win. Um, yeah. Um, but this storage is uh, the map designer's layout, um, technically. But in my in my head, it's a, a capitalist pig who didn't care for their facility and probably underpaid their workers. And as such, that is the absolute nightmare of chaos. But. <laughs> uh, spear machete urban uh, uh, is it uh, Naginata Naginata um, I just Naginata yeah yeah I remember the fucking um, the league episode when Taco fucking busts one of them out for a while um, and fucking <laughs> does a, a my N a Nagata uh, Naginata rat up uh, uh, in front of a whole bunch of like the the plastic surgeons like the plastic surgeon is a dude who tries too hard and he gets a black partner and he fucking immediately like they merge their part their practices and the uh, the black doctor bling brings all of his black cl clients to a white party that the other doctor holds and taco gets up john lejoie gets up and does a rap about his uh uh i do believe he pronounces it neginata and he does the rap and it's very unclear if he's talking about a Japanese, it, like Chinese weapon or the black clientele of the plastic surgeon. <laughs> it's, it's, dude, everything with John LeJoie in the, in the league is fucking brilliant. The guy's funny. He's legitimately funny. Dude, that was a swing and a miss. There we go. I think I just committed a hate crime too. 
Oh, wait, no, I'm actually black in this one. Never mind, it's not a hate crime. It's just black on black crime. As a you white. canceled the game, I see. Yeah, well, you know what? Let's fucking speed run it, right? It took me two years to get my first one. Oh. Literally across the street, it's just more storage shit. Holy shit. Yeah. Dude, it's, it's West Point expansion's great. Is it a hate crime if I hate other black people, says Marcus? <laughs> oh, Marcus. Um, probably. <laughs> oh, also, write down the uh, the street caboose. Like, if you keep going past the base, um, the, you'll you'll hit a grass patch, a patch of grass, and then there's a country store with a gas pump. Like, literally, on one side of us is a supermarket, on the other side is the gas station. And I just happened to have started with level three mechanics. Nice. Get uh, get yourself electrical because Cat and I need like a uh, car repair sort of situation. We need like hot uh, hot wiring, car repair, that sort of thing. So get your electrical up a level, um, and that'll be super useful. Um, I just smashed the fuck out of you. Um, all right. What all is this? Holy shit. All right. I'm taking you with me. Shotgun ammo. Yeah. I don't think I need any of that shit. Tools or do we have any books? Uh, no, we do not. That is the thing. Uh, we, right. we don't actually have uh, a plethora or plentiful amounts of, uh, in this game thus far. Hey, gas cans, gas cans. Love the gas cans. Um, Let's see. Oh, and also, like, down the street from us, like, not the same street, but you, if you head straight out the way, direction we were going, but a little uh, a little further south, uh, there's an entire industrial row of, like, mechanic shops and fucking, dude, there's everything in there. Like, we're in de essentially in the industrial district with, a uh, like, a Whole Foods right next door. It's brilliant. Um... Um, Simo Pop, it's because I, uh, well, m myself and others, um, have murdered the shit out of this town. And, um, basically the way we do it is we do no zombie respawn because the fact of the matter is, is that in game lore is that Knox County is cordoned off. We are in a, uh, exclusionary zone, hence the military flyovers and stuff like that, especially in the expanded helicopter events. Um, so they're not like pe people aren't just falling out of the fucking sky, right? Like there's no reason for zombies to respawn if you're running consistent in game lore. There's just, it shouldn't be a thing. So we run no respawn on the servers, uh, on the server. And that's generally how we like it. So yeah, we just murdered the ever loving shit out of everything in this town. Uh, me and one of my longtime members, mods and friends, Cat, is uh, we we are very good at murdering hordes of zombies together. Um, so yeah, we also set off a few alarms to like gather zombies into hordes and then you know mow through them that way to be more efficient in our genocide. Um, yeah, you know what? Um, you know what? I'm just going to eat on the go. Yeah, we've got, we've got it set up. It, we, it, it's, yes, we have higher numbers on that. Um, but we also have a variety of settings. Dude, this is a heavily modded server. It's uh, highly tweaked settings as well. Come on. There you go. You want to come through the window too, or are you coming through the door? Window? Come on. Ah, there we go. Um. Alright. Yeah, I don't need the dance magazines. Um. Have I read? What was it? There we go. Uh, no, no, no. That's what I wanted. <laughs> I was there to start with, dummy. Um, okay, so I've already read that. No need for it. 
Um, if you want, uh, Simo, um, yeah, it's Simo Pop. Um, if you want, there's a PZ Mods command um, to see what we're running. I think we're there's just maybe a couple of mods missing out of it. But um, yeah, there's a PZ Mods command on the Discord server as well as the uh, Twitch uh, setting. Here, so one of these fuckers is. Told you. It is a heavily modified server. Jesus Christ. Just spam the server. Buddhist and I fucking absolutely tested the shit out of this server one night. We, we, we reset the world and reset the world and reset the world until we figured out a series of server settings plus mods that we felt was representative of Kentucky in 1994, 1995 with the time frame for the outbreak, with the, the in-game lore for, you know, the cordoning off of, the, of Knox County and all these sorts of things. We spent a good few hours figuring out how we wanted it to feel. Um, and yeah, that's the current iteration of the server. Um, also there's a, a pharmacy here in town caboose. Um, so we have like everything. Um, also there's a room in the, the base that has like tons of shit for pharmacy uh, purposes as well. But we have essentially every single pharmaceutical good that is in this without the modified deep health fucking mod. Um. Oh yeah, fucking Marcus. I mean, I've been privy to a whole bunch of those conversations as the stepson of a judge. Dude, I've seen that shit in action. I've been, I've been in chambers. I've been behind the bench. I've been, you know, all the places you're not supposed to be is a fucking just regular folk. But you know, when you're family. Well, I actually set up a burglar alarm. All right, run away from the house as fast as possible, and then just remember where the house is. You know you play too much when you recognize every mod in the list. Exactly. Oh, I mean, I'm getting like uh, finished uh, fucking sniper vibes every time I look at fucking Simo's name. Fucking Simo Pop. I'm like, yeah, fucking... Is it a reference? It's it's probably something else, but is it a reference to uh, Simo? Uh, um, oh, you know what? It's time to start collecting books, I suppose, right? Wow, not a single zombie came. Ha! All right, then we did our job correctly. Um, all right, so plenty of that. I'm just gonna take the books. Just straight up. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Simo uh, is a master sniper. Um, it, the uh, highest body count attributed to a like a confirmed kill uh, set. Uh, the guy is absolutely badass. He, he that dude took out so many goddamn Russians <laughs> during <laughs> during the Winter War. Yeah, uh, Simo is one of the Simo is, is the most accomplished sniper in probably like firearms history. Just straight up at five hundred and fifty. He can, didn't even use a scope. No uh, iron sights. Um, no scope. The dude. The dude was just. Absolutely epic. Got his fuck half his face blown off by a fucking uh, uh, by an explosive round. And dude, they dude they ended that war because Simo woke up from his coma. Believe, like <laughs> that dude was he's quite the interesting fella. Um, let's just put it that way. Thanks for the follow. Uh, fucking Russia is base just followed me. <laughs> hey, I'll take the metric. It means that you're still here. You've been watching ever since. Did you I hate watching. Yeah, right? Did you finally, like, fucking take a breather? Comrade Kai. 
So, yeah, um, the machete spear is pretty fucking good. Yeah. Dude, yeah, the machete spear p- fucking puts in work. Yeah, maybe they smoked or ate and they're feeling a bit better now. You're right? You gotta get fucking Snickers in you and you don't want to commit genocide against gays. <laughs> Did you have a Pepsi? Was Kylie Jenner correct? Is that all it took to, to end hatred? I got that pop culture reference right, right? I mean, I, I, I got both of them. Okay. I think they still do have a Snickers commercials, don't they? I don't know. I haven't actually watched TV in years, so I don't know. It was Kendall. Th- thank you, Libra. But it was Kendall Jenner, apparently. I don't even know which one Kendall is. I, is you know Kendall what? I couldn't, I couldn't pick out any of them, quite frankly. I wouldn't be able to. If you fucking... You know what? Do a tier list with the Kardashians. I'd be like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> which I'd put them all in the S. I don't find a single one of the Kardashian girls attractive. Fucking dude. OJ Simpson absolutely ruined pop culture. That's all o- that's <laughs> all OJ's fault. Every last one of those fucking just absolute wastes of a human. Uh, that's all OJ's fault. And if you know what the fuck I'm talking about, good on you for knowing the reference. For the fucking youngins and the uninitiated in the room, dude, OJ Simpson is the reason the Kardashians are famous. It is the craziest series of events and like weirdo fucking timeline shit that occurred, but OJ Simpson is the reason the Kardashians are famous. Oh, fuck you. I got that swing in. Um... The tall, lanky one, not the fake curvy. Yeah, okay, whatever. They're all the fucking dude. I, I, no idea. I think I could probably identify the mom. Wait, wait, wait. Do I get to? Are they both moms now? I, yeah. I just thought about that. I'm like, wait a second. Fucking. They got two moms. <laughs> so that that statement's a little out of date. Um Really? Oh fuck you. I see you behind me. What are you up to, Caboose? Just doing general looting? Yep. Let's just smash this window for shits and giggles. Hey, now. I see that tree move. Fuck out of here with that. That was weird. What was that? That tree shook. Well, I died. (laughs) You died already? Stun lock. Oh, God, that fucking... That took me a while, holy shit. I died by the gas station. Yes, what a shock that was, game. Thank you for using the stinger there, because I definitely didn't hear that guy the entire time he was banging on that door. What is this building? Hmm. Some sort of factory processing center sort of thing. Yeah. Alright. Just get some shit unlocked here. Alright, let's check some storage. Although I need to drop these. Okay. Uh, I need to drop these books back at base. Alright. I see what's going on here. Oh, wait a second. I saw a long list. I want to look at it. Uh, uh, you know what? Mm, I'll start collecting them. I'm going to start collecting electronics. Break them down back at base after I got a book in me for it. Do I have... No, not yet. Oh, well. Uh, how long has coffee been around? I have no idea. Uh, all right, Zippy. 
I have zero ideas how long uh, coffee has been around. Um, yeah, I set it up a few months back because Ray Anarchy or whatever the fucking name is. Uh, I forget who they brought it, who brought them in, but they wanted to like tip me, but they absolutely refused to use anything else. So I set it up live on stream for them. And so I've had a fucking account for a few months now. Uh, but after the, uh, Hey, thanks for the follow. Um, after the, uh, <clears throat> incident, um, <laughs> it, I, what the fuck? Why did you swing that direction, you stupid twat? My cursor was not... Ah, uh, that better not have been a bite. That's all I gotta say is that better not have been a fucking bite. Alright, disinfect it. Well, if you're, um... Let's see. Is this the, uh, infected server, or is this the... Instant death if you get infected server. It's an uh, infected server. Oh shit! Um, That's why it took so long for me to die then. Yes. Uh Roy, thank you for the follow. Uh, I I guess I will need to check Discord. I'm sorry I haven't been uh, keeping up. I've got I've only got three monitors. I need a fourth. What can I say? Um, first wor hashtag first world problems. Um. But uh, I'm sorry, I have been keeping up with whatever the discourse in the uh, uh, in the in the comments has been. Um, I will say one of the more two statements was. <laughs> um, yep, that sounds about right, Marcus. That sounds about right. Um, yeah, Libra, we don't get 100% of it, but we get a far better cut. Let's just put it that way. Like a $5 subscription on Twitch in uh, on on Amazon payment gets us two, uh, $2.50. If it is a US-based subscriber, on coffee, we get $4.09 uh, after like a PayPal fee. It's not coffee, it's PayPal taking that cut. Um... If it's Canadian money, it's four dollars and a uh, one cent that we get. So yeah, that's that's the PayPal cut. Um, but other than that, no big deal. I'll set up Stripe eventually, but dude, it needs to. It wants to hook to my bank account directly, and well, you know, fuck them. <laughs> but you know, if I want to get those Swede bucks. That's what I have to do. Swede won't use PayPal. <laughs> get those daddy. I can't blame him, but get those daddy Swede bucks. Uh, there's discourse. Is it good? I don't know. I don't know. You have to. You have to. Gotta go. Gotta go check for yourself. That that would have to be on the top monitor, and I'd have to fucking either take OBS down or some other shit. It's not worth. You know, it's not worth the moment, as it were. But either way, Roy, thanks for the follow. Um, I hope I hope whatever you engaged in in the comments was either the right amount of infuriating or educational or whatever. I, ho I hope it got you. The I hope it got you off and you got what you needed out of it. Zippy, there's some Vosh discourse going on in the comments right now. <laughs> I kind of accidentally started. Uh. Dude, y'all, Caleb, if you're here, Caleb, you fucking, dude, why, you need to not hate Vosh that much. It's not healthy, man. Just fucking let it's it. It's not that Caleb hates Vosh. It's just that Caleb is disliking him for stupid and false reasons and is refusing to accept anything. Like, Caleb, if, Vosh is a prick. I'll say that. Fine. Vosh is a prick. I don't care. If you don't want to like Vosh because he's a prick, that's fair and valid. But come on, man. The the pedo stuff, the grifter stuff, that's oh, not God, the pe true. The pedo stuff is so fucking... It, it, just a gross mischaracterization and misunderstanding of a dialectical process. That's, that's all that is. Fucking, that's people who can't follow a conversation. I'm sorry. I hate Vosh. It, it's fine. I don't... It doesn't fucking matter. Just please use real reasons to hate him. Um, Jesus, look at this. This is fucking. 
Um, all right. 15. What are these? 0.8 a piece. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm a fucking, yeah, I'm going to put these, I'm going to put the books over here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the books over here. All right. What do I got? What do I got? What do I got? All right. I got an ammo canister here. Um, empty gas cans. All right. Did I only get one of those? Oh, son of a bitch. All right. I'm going to go back for the other one. And I'm going to place the ammo canister so we know where the fuck it is. Um, yeah, it's going right there. You cannot accept it all you want, but you're wrong. <laughs> like, that's... It's just... Sorry. Like, it's just a fucking... Do you have any proof? Any proof whatsoever? That pa Vosh is a pedophile. Keep in mind, we have a fucking lawyer in chat right now. Like, put up or shut up. Do you have any proof whatsoever that Vosh is a pedophile? Found a dead body with a pistol on it. That'll happen. Oh, I hate the fucking. You know what? It's going right here. You're gonna let me get that for you, me? Fuck you. I'm not reading it. Fuck you. You're going to let, let, let me get that for you. Fuck you. I am a streamer on the air fucking playing a game, and you're going to do a let me get that for you. You can fuck right off. Post your proof or shut your fucking mouth. Caleb, please, I am giving you an out in this. You can hate Vosh. Fucking a web search of Vosh and Age of Consent. Do you have any proof Vosh is a pedophile? Doesn't Vosh want to raise the Age of Consent? Fuck if I know. Because the FBI probably needs a phone call if you do. But I'm pretty sure you ain't got shit for shit. Uh, let's open these packets. All right, now let's let's open a couple of packets here. I see they go with the uh, guns alert zombies uh, trope. Oh, dude, guns a hundred percent. Um, they've got a radius on them depending on the gun. Um, and they, um, like, yeah, like there's a couple of guns that definitely are, are like the choice ones because they'll only pull from like a 30 square, but most of the heavy caliber guns in this game, dude, they'll pull zombies from like a hundred, a hundred squares, like no problem. They pretty much one hit zombies though. That's nice. Really? You're getting, you know. But what are you using? Uh, the first gun I was using was a Sig Sauer P22. Okay. And now I'm using a CZ75. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what? I, you know, I'll just swing by the store. Why not? Um, nope, wrong one. Still bleeding on that one, huh? All right, fine. Uh, bandage it. We go. See, Zippy, that's valid. Yeah, that's that's a hundred percent valid, dude. That's that's where I land on most things for fucking Vosh and Destiny and shit like that. It's like I, you know, the only thing, like I said, Vosh is a skilled rhetorician and an orator, and I respect that as a rhetorician and orator, right? Like that's that's something I can recognize in him that I can recognize a skill set and level, degree of excellence in, and I respect that about him. Beyond that, whatever. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't care one way or the other. 
but the the like visceral hatred that people have for him is just the goofiest goddamn thing. Dude, that's 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 that fucking. They they have a name for it, right? The Vosh derangement syndrome. A Vosh derangement syndrome. It's just. Yeah. I thought it was a joke, but this shit's real. It's starting to feel real. This shit's real. This dude, it just he brings it out of people. Um. Hey, I have a super soaker. I wonder if I could fill it with something. Like, yeah, I can. I can. It's literally a water gun. But can I fill it with something like, you know, real? Yes. <laughs> Put some bourbon in it. Uh, Just squirt it directly into your mouth. <laughs> Cat's feeling depressed again. Just squirt it with the bourbon gun. <laughs> Just from a fucking across the room. <laughs> bourbon gun. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's just eat some mac and cheese. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, bourbon gun time, bitch. Um. You know what? I'm gonna take some burritos with me and just keep them on me. What if you could like fill it with lighter fluid or something to make a makeshift flamethrower? That's what my initial thought with the bourbon was, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Of course. Then again, our experience with fire in the past. Yeah, um, I'm still a little gun shy. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> Fucking, uh, for those of you that don't know, we lit an entire neighborhood on fire that refused to extinguish, just refused. We we burned an entire, like, we burned half a fucking rosewood, and it just wouldn't go out. The concrete was on fire. The brick burned. The concrete burned. Literally everything burned. It was insane. Um. All right. So that's the store. Kai, bottoms aren't allowed to have Mexican food. My, how the turns t- turntables. Uh, what was that apropos of like absolutely nothing, Marcus? <laughs> just like, um, no, you just got to have plenty. Of, you got to lay off the beans. You got to have plenty of brown rice. You know, keep keep the insoluble fiber high in the diet. You'll be fine. And, you know, you might want to lay off some of it, like, the day of, the day before. Oh, you said you, you were taking... it took me a minute to get why Bottoms can't have Mexican food. Uh, Marcus! Oh, Marcus, are you not aware? Uh, Marcus, you have been around then. Um, no, we're doing the Kai is a dominant top arc. Yeah, Kai's a top. Like, I'm, I'm literally not a bottom anymore, and I'm not a sub anymore. Dude, I fucking... Yeah, hundred percent. Like I'm, I'm putting in work, homie. Uh. Okay, so the CZ seventy five is actually not very accurate. Yes, yeah, so he beast so Kai can have all the Mexican food his system can handle. Um, <laughs> uh, it has been a trip. It has been a trip. Wait, what do you mean a fucking dude? A slice of pie increases my boredom and unhappiness, dude. This needs rebalancing. Oh, they're they're going to be rebalancing some of this, from what I heard. The insects are not going to reduce. Do people complained about the insects? Because the in, the insects like increase your uh, like a roasted insect increases your unhappiness and like causes depression and shit. Like it increases sadness as well. And people have been complaining. They're like, homie, like three quarters of the world eats insects regularly and they love it. What is this white Western bullshit that you're fucking doing here? Right? Like this is, this is just stupid. And so, yeah, they're going to, there's plans to fix that finally. Yeah, that was way premature. Must be a pretty shitty pie. No, right? Dude, it's difficult to make a pie that bad that your unhappiness and your fucking, like, depression are going to increase because of pie. That's a fucking trip and a half. I fucking hate pie, and I think uh, it wouldn't that increase is, my depression. That is fair, Caleb. 
that is fair, but we should at least have the option to work on it then. It should be like, you know, something you grow accustomed to, which is something this game does do. Um, I could probably adjust the eating bugs. Dude, I, prepared, right? like, like I said, I, they're already in my diet. I, I eat crickets, so fucking... They're technically in my diet if I'm willing to... Uh... <laughs> Look at the allowed amount of bugs it's, in the food I buy. It is called the allowed. It is called allowable level lim, uh, limits of filth. That is literally the the FDA term for it. It's allowable limits of filth. Um, and that is what gets you your cockroaches and your like fly wings and well some other things like well rat feces. <laughs> Yep. You eat crickets, you're a froggo. Um, I I have been using cricket protein in my uh in my shake mixes rotating in and out for quite I don't know, a few months at least now, right, Cabruce? I mean it's been a minute. Uh, I mean you were talking about it, like since the day I joined, which is back in April last year. Okay, so like almost an a uh, almost a year. I just realized it's gonna be the like the one year anniversary of me joining next month. Hey. It doesn't even feel like it's been that long. These, dude, it's just, it's 2020 part two anyway, so. God, it really is. Yeah, dude, this, these last few years have just been absolutely fucky. I've never had years go by this fast since 2020. Oh, jeez. Three school bags and a satchel. Holy shit. Um, okay, this can replace mine. And do I have... Do I not carry... There they are. I'm like... Alright. Like I could have sworn. Well, I, I found an area you guys haven't visited yet because there's no bodies on the ground and there's plenty of zombies. <laughs> Let the bodies hit the floor. Oh, um, I fucking hate that song. <laughs> I'm now carrying seven burritos. Nope, nope, nope. I'm carrying ten burritos on me, as God intended it. <laughs> oh. Or exactly for Tooth. Exactly. For Tooth is down for it. Um Oh, and I'm I'm gonna eat a frosted donut. The best cover of that song was the one sung by that one parrot. <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. You totally know what I'm talking about. Okay. There's a motherfucker right here. <laughs> All right. You were one of the first people I followed on this site. Yeah. Thank you, Libra. It's been a minute, hasn't it? Or sort of, I think, I think, I honestly, I'm, I'm fucking, though I'm reticent to admit it to Kat, um, for different reasons. Kat was convinced the fucking YouTube arc was going to be the thing, but the, um, I think that this is the kick in the ass the community and myself needed to do some like changes and tweaks and stuff like that. The, like, you know, I'm a little set in my ways. I always take a little lax in areas that need growth. So I, I think that this overall is going to be, you know, getting suspended was a good thing. Um, Fucking, especially uh, gets me to divest from Twitch to a certain extent, right? Like that's. <laughs> um, let's remove the glass. You led me to Curio, an absolute blessing. Yep, yeah, that's uh, you know I I sometimes I, I things time comes and it feels premature, but I got plenty of time with Curio. Right. I was with Curio on Podbean and Curio came over here and I, I you know, I got I got plenty of time with Curio and I'm thankful for it. Uh we're going up to uh we're going up to uh, we're going up to twelve burritos. Oh, by the way, there's energy drinks in this game now too, by the way. 
Oh. Just, you know, that's a thing. Um, like minus this Red Bull is minus 15 fatigue, minus eight hunger, minus 50 thirst, plus 15 endurance. Right. So there's there's energy drinks. You may want to carry some on you. Um, clearly, I am in a food store. Um, God, there's so much. Dude, there's so much. It's almost not worth cooking. Um, yeah, okay. So that's a fucking greens grocers and then a burger joint. And then what is this? Is it, this looks like a... Oh, yeah. This is 100% of butchers. This is all rotten, though, already. God, it's a shame. Uh, you know what? The salami's good. All right. This stuff is good. This stuff is good. I'd actually be surprised if salami went bad. No, that's I've I've been arguing that since day one of this game. That salami, no, just no. Do they not know what curing is? Yeah. There is in fact a curing mod on this server as well. Um there are ways to dry fruits, jar, uh, there's ways to dry, jar, um, meats, fruits, all that sort of stuff. Um, pickle, um, we can make prison hooch. We can, um, there's a bunch of stuff that is on this server. Is it possible to cure cured meat? I mean, you could do it. You could, you could definitely do it. It's, you know, it might be a little redundant depending on what you're trying to do, but it's doable. At that point, it probably just end up being jerky. Man, I have no idea where I am. Oh, if you keep going north far enough, you'll actually start, you'll start to see map items. Uh, because the expansion doesn't have map. Um... And so, like, you'll start to see stuff on the map. That's West Point proper. We're in the expansion right now. You go f north far enough, and you start to find West Point itself. And there we go. That was a little clinchy. I didn't want to have to fucking wrap around on the wall again, but... Got it done, got it done. A few more zombies dead. Clearing out my town. This is community, this is community uh, action. Oh shit, alright, there's a whole bunch over there. So, let me round some of these fuckers. There we go. Yeah, I wouldn't play vanilla Zomboid at this point. I don't see a point. Yeah. In that. There's too many I mean, changes. Bad and janky modded it. No, it's just. Well, there's too much that like mods bring to the table. Like it's just there's stuff that like legitimately should be in this game that isn't in this game. And it, vanilla, vanilla fucking zomboid. My argument against vanilla, vanilla zomboid alone is the um is the durability system of weapons. It's completely broken. It's completely broken. That durability system is is just com needs complete redoing. Um I I remember when I was in a like you know a workshop discussion thread and uh the fire axe came up and a firefighter spoke up. And he was like, yeah, no. Like, our, our axes don't break like that. That's not a thing that's going to happen to you using it that way. He's like, we, it's it's reinforced, like, composite material on the, sh uh, you know, on the handle and shaft. It's double hardened steel. It's, you know, you're not going to fucking have a, have a fire axe snap that way that quickly. And I was like, thank you. I've been saying that for minute one. Like that that just needs buffing. 
Ah, yes, the Zomboid lighting system at work there. Glad I'm actually glad that they're fucking retooling that. It took me a while to understand why that needed retooling, but the lighting system does, in fact, need retooling. It very perky jerky at times. I like it in concept. Yes. No, I agree with the entirety like of the concept of the system, but in in its application, it needs some refining. Also, there's some like meta on the attack swing, but I haven't practiced it. But there's a way to like okay, so there's three parts to the attack in Zomboid. There's the actual swing, the follow through, and then a recovery. Apparently, there's a window. A <coughs> there's a moment in like right after the attack executes, before as you go into the the recovery phase of it, that you can interrupt with a like by smashing like by pressing spacebar. And you can um, essentially eliminate half of the recovery and the, uh, the the like redo of the swing, so you can like speed your attacks up. It's highly like time dependent. It's um, but like top tier players do it all the time. Um, well, shit! I got the zombie infection. Uh, where on your body? Um, let's see here. On my upper arm. You can cut your arm off if you have a saw. I do not. <laughs> but yeah. I got bit a while ago, so I'm pretty sure it's in my system. Oh, yeah. Then you're fucked. Um, yes, and for those wondering, yes, we do have that mod on the server as well. <laughs> you could just cut your fucking arm off if necessary. And we can build prosthetics. Oh, God, the fog is setting in. God, I hate the fucking I fog. Um... You're not having a good... I'm not, no. My, this has been a, a two shitty runs in a row so far. Yeah, you're having trouble getting a character initiated. Yeah. Did you get your stuff back from the first guy? I can't even find the fucking... Uh, the base. Oh, yeah. You need to just, like, track on me then. Um, okay, so... Let's un unlock the trunk... Um, Jesus Christ, I'm way the fuck far out. Hey, three bottles of bourbon. I wonder I'm that. just constantly running into hordes of zombies. Viva. Um, yeah, that's that's definitely a thing that if you had a character and you were playing Zomboid, you could specialize in. We can we can build prosthetics. Um here. Prosthesis skills, left hand, right hand. It's 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 a thing in this game. <laughs> I <laughs> I Do they get to a point where they basically return your uh, capability? No, it's That's always cool. it's 1995, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, fucking. But you know, God, this I hate the fucking fog, is zomboid. It's so brutal. It's so brutal. Damn, it's getting pretty thick too. No, this is this is Buddhist levels. This is like when Buddhist and I were out one morning. Dude, we were laughing our asses off. We're, like, we're driving. And we're like, Jesus, goddamn Christ, this is impossible. It's just getting thicker. Yeah. Yeah, I watched it close in. All the technology I used was available in 1995. Well, then, Viva, uh, write the developers a Zomboid and tell them to get their asses in gear and fix that shit. Actually, I do I do think that the, the prosthesis thing is a mod, so... Uh, Wait, does Viva have a prosthesis in real life? Uh, Viva builds them. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We've, we've, we've discussed this before. Yeah. Yeah, if you needed a prosthesis, Viva's the... Motherfucker, you need to talk to. Hey now. Apparently, I gathered a few fans along the way. Alright, there we go. I think I'm running keen hearing on this character. Yeah, I am. Which is super useful in situations like that. Come here. 
Is there a way I can use the gun to, like, shoot myself on the head? Um, yeah, that mod should be around. Um, easiest way, go find a bottle of bleach. Also, it prevents you from reanimating. Um, yeah, drink a bottle of bleach, and it'll kill you, and you won't reanimate. Very painful way to go. Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh, this is the two-story pizza place. <laughs> God damn this fucking vlog. Oh, oh, never mind. Getting eaten by a horde. All right. Well, it's uh, it's almost three a.m. for me, so. Okay. You you fucking call it there, and I'm going to try and handle these last few idiots and head back to base and then we will call it there as well. This guy's got Alrighty. a duffel bag so I want it. Oh, this is this is you. Oh, you got Oh shit. Yeah. Uh if you're by the gas station, my machete on a stick should be around. Uh I'm not. I'm <laughs> Oh shit. All right. Um is that a different character? Uh, no, that's my first character. You, you'd probably just killed and looted. Yeah, fucking, yeah, I remember that. Blue shirt and the fucking, like, crew cut. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then by the gas station, was that the same character? Yes. Okay, so you got killed by the gas station. That's where you dropped your weapon. Yes. Yeah, you managed to wander a good distance. Jeez, wow. Um, yeah, because that's, that's past the grocery store. The, on the left. Um, that, that dude came out of like the, the, the commercial district. So he was, yeah, like he wandered a good distance. Impressive. Yeah. That's actually really interesting that he made it that far. Huh. Um, preparing your CV for a research job on exoskeletons. Jesus Christ. Viva. I want an exoskeleton. Um, same. Can I clip a drink a bottle of bleach? It will kill you. I mean, feel free, Amorous. God knows. I want some robot pants. God knows. I've tricked public into <laughs> fucking absolutely giving me some e epic quotes <laughs> and clipped them. And public's a good sport about it. They always leave them up. Fucking. <laughs> I remember the. Like. <laughs> public doing an entire bit satirical bit and i just trimmed it uh, trimmed it down to just him and the and the black should be more gracious fucking we the white elected obama i mean we've got to be even <laughs> how the hell did you manage that it was great fucking oh hey now um yeah, it was a it was a perfect fucking clip moment, and I just fucking I just grabbed it, and I was like, "Here you go." Okay, there's been a few of those over the years. Oh, let's see. If you got banned, he got scared about that one. Really? <laughs> I don't I don't blame them. Um, so, you know, Amaris, uh, public is they, them, uh, but yeah, that's, yeah, I'm not, I don't, I don't blame him on that one. Fucking dude, Twitch mods, Twitch mods are, Twitch mods are some of the worst people on the planet. They're, they're terrible human beings. <laughs> fuck these people, right? Like that's, that's my opinion at this point. It's just fuck the Twitch mod staff, dude. I'm sorry. You you ban you suspend me for fucking defending like LGBTQ youth. You can go fuck yourself. Right? Which is ironic because didn't they just like hire a whole bunch of LGBT mod staff a while ago? I pff, fuck if I know. Did they actually do it? There's that one like trans species deer. Oh woman. god, the deer girl. Yeah. Okay, so I have no... We're near the gas station, dude. The fog is so thick. 
Where were um, Do you remember? I was like right in between the pumps. Oh, that's a different gas station. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah, that's our gas station is right down here and it's a single pump. Oh, damn, that's old fashioned. Yeah, it's it's in a it's an old country store. Like this is literally an old country store. Oh, that's kind of quaint. Yeah. It's got like they literally the the family like was living upstairs. Like that's it's it's got a residence upstairs and it's got a single pump. God damn it. Um it's got a single pump out front and then yeah. Like this is it's a nice little cute little country store. Um all right. You know what? Is there anything in this? No? All right. Well, I'm taking this freezer. <laughs> that's that's gonna be that's gonna be the last thing for the night is I'm I'm taking the fucking freezer. Um All right, let's see. I hope I can I hope I have room for this shit in my bag. So I don't snap my fucking legs. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh, this is gonna be good. Let's keep an eye on the health. We'll see if I can fucking get back with this stupid thing. <laughs> snap my fucking legs and die on the street because I was too stupid and was carrying all sorts of shit. Oh fuck off. I do not consent. Stop trying to touch me. Oh, I'm so overloaded. There we go. <laughs> and I'm exerted now. Um they didn't. It's more like advisors to cover their ass. Apparently, that's what Viva's saying. Like, they're not even real mod staff. They're just fucking, you know, like an advisory panel and that sort of shit, probably. Oh, good. So it's literally all honorific. Yeah. Typical shit that they give to, like, you know, people of color. It's just marginalized communities. You know, marginalized communities. That's what they do. I wonder how often they actually get advised. Um, Warlock. Oh, neat. Video games. Hey, Warlock. Um, yeah, we're just wrapping up. Caboose, was, who's on the air with me, who's just on the server for, oh, with me as well. And I'm just headed back to base here, too. <laughs> so as I just keep an eye on my health here um, so I don't break my fucking legs. I'm going to drop off this freezer that I'm carrying and ditch some loot. And then we'll probably call it a night. But, yes, this is Project Zomboid, if you're familiar or not. Um, yeah, no, that's that's the sort of shit that exactly what you would expect from a, a corporation like Twitch slash Amazon, right? Fucking no, no, no. See, like we care about the uh, we care about what do they call them these days? Are they the queers, the gays? I don't know. Either way, we care. We care. Um, and as such, we have an advisory panel of um i don't know people that kind of look like you is it look what do, what do they care about um anyway we'll um you know occasionally trot them out in front of a camera so <laughs> all you queers start uh, stop being so angry at us for a minute um god these fucking all right so i'm just gonna put it over here they're both a queer and gay tag, and as well as a demi by ace. They must be woke as fuck. Exactly. No, nah, no, nah, for sure. That's that's a hundred percent how it works. They put a fucking tag in the the channel tags, and now as such, we should all be thankful for the gracious nature of Amazon and Twitch. That's representation, and they should be expected to do no more than that. Apparently. Um, let's see. Salami can go in there as well. All right, let me. All right, there. All right, let's see. Put the school bags in there. Uh, we'll put the satchels in there. It's all just for new people. Uh, yes, I will. Um, somebody is outside. I hear somebody. I hear these morons. Alright. 
All right, come on, morons. Stop banging on my front door. Hey, I heard another one. Could have sworn I heard a snort. All right, fine. Um, the black friend excuse. Yeah, no, it's a hundred percent the black friend excuse, Viva. It's a hundred percent the black friend excuse. See, see. We we have we we have we have some queers on staff. It's all good now, right? We good? You stop being angry? <laughs> Cuz we like gay money. <laughs> that's that's what it boils down to is they like gay money. So Let's see. Open open open. Open. There we go. All right, now let's dump the seeds. Oh, for fuck's sake, there we go. And then the fertilizer. I'll keep the cigarettes. Oh, I missed a duffel bag. All right, cool. Rainbow capitalism at it again. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's a little more than that, but yeah, it's the same thing. I mean, it's classic neoliberal tactic of co-opting a movement and, you know, Etc. 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 Um. All right. So that's that. That's that. Um, I'm just gonna sit on the ground. I'll leave that. 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 And then. Let's see. All right. Uh, the server will do its thing here in a second, and I'm sure there will be some hitching on the uh, on the stream. But uh, oh, geez. Yeah, I see it. I see, I see the commons now. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Is this all? Oh, okay. Cool. Um, all right. Uh, I, Amherst, I don't get it either. I don't get it either. Uh, <laughs> the first friend I had in Germany when I illegally immigrated was black. That counts, right? Yeah, no, Viva, you're, you can't be racist now, Viva. Congratulations. You're, you're completely immune to accusations of racism because you once had a black friend or you knew a black guy. <laughs> that's, that's how it, 100% how it works. You know, Jerry at work, he's, he's a, he's a, he's a well-spoken, uh, eloquent guy who, you know, stand up. He's real clean. Um, you know, not that we've ever heard that shit before. Jesus, goddamn Christ. Um, either way, I'm just, oh, you know what? Hold on. Um, let's do some like work inside Zomboid. Um, do we have, how, where the fuck? I, I never know how the, the Twitch categories actually work. Um, uh, like as far as URLs go. Okay. It's directory slash game. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Um, let's just do fucking, I don't know. Let's do danger rose. I don't give a shit. Stream up time for three and a half hours. Yeah, I'm good with it. Um, let's read into, oh, let's read into some zomboid players. That's, that's what we should be doing. Um, or you know what? QQ scrupulous. You know, we'll go with that. I like it. We'll do it. I'm not going to look at the streamer. I don't give a shit. We're just going to raid in done. Um, where's chat? Chat is going back over here on the panel where it belongs. Get back where you belong, chat. Oh, literally everything is a game. The art category. Yeah. Um, either way. Thanks. Uh, thanks Libra. Um, Roy, I'll catch you later. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Also the whole native Arabic speaker. Thanks for contributing to the skills exchange. Um, stop on by. Uh, tomorrow's a 5.30 p.m. Pacific uh, U.S. time show. Um, either way, sign up for notifications. You'll get them. Um, and, yeah, with that, I think I'm just going to say goodbye. Caboose, thanks for hanging out. No problem. Um, and I'm going to raid you guys out directly. We're not going to wait for the countdown. Everybody, I'll see, you in, I'll see you another time. Take care of yourselves.